Hello, hello, hello. My name is Tim Cleaver, broadcasting live from twitch.tv slash Tim Cleaver. Welcome back to my channel on this glorious St. Patrick's Day. Day like any other to me. <laughs> so, uh, well, yeah, welcome to part 12 of my first Elden Ring playthrough. We're 12 episodes in now. So the game's been out for, uh, I think, three weeks as of tomorrow. And we're still not done it. And yeah, I realized that after we beat uh, Renala a few epi episodes ago, we should have come back here and talked to even more NPCs, which I haven't done. I think I missed out on these. Yeah, this NPC here. So I duplicated my rem remembrance for Renala, so hopefully we can buy two of I those things. My doubts, but my we got lots to do today. Only once before have I seen two great runes together. We are reuniting the runes. Look there. The fingers shudder with exuberance. They exube. My work brave tarnished. The greater will is pleased. You have earned the right to become Elden Lord. Finally. Now, seek the Erd Tree. And an audience with Queen Malika to become Elden Lord and restore the Golden Order. The fingers expect as much from you as they do, young Gideon. Who's Gideon? Take this, a token of farewell. Talisman pouch, cool. Second one. Now, so we could have three talismans now. Forth. Elden Lord. That's the plan. Okay, so let's equip. Hmm. I like that. Uh, re stamina recovery speed. That's handy. Hey, shit. This would have been useful in fucking Ray Lucaria. Well, next time. So what's the difference between vitality and HP? Um, help. Explanation. Attribute required to perform glintstone sorceries. That's vitality? Well, that's intelligence. I'm over there. Can I read? It doesn't say what vitality is. Okay. I like that too. Restores critical hit. Uh, critical hits restore HP. That's handy too. Uh, let's try this. Raises attack power with successive attacks. And then... Oh yeah, I haven't really noticed a detriment to this, so I think I'll keep that. Radagon's Scar Seal. Okay. Uh, so where do I go for those remembrances again? That was here in the round table hold, right? Ah, I have been waiting for your return. I've decided to leave the round table hold. Okay, bye. I'm off in search of a noble scholar known as the Gold Mask <sighs> to take his mask. instruction. <laughs> we may not meet again for some time. Okay, bye. If there's any incantations you mm. wish to learn, now's the moment. Hmm. That's a lot of incantations. Can we afford all of them? Uh, 2,500, 6,000, 9,000, 10, 5, 14, 16, 16, 6, 22, 6, uh, 23, 4, uh, 28, 9, uh, 36, 4, and 42. So if my math is right, which it probably isn't, 42,000, some 42,000, roughly. Uh, we're about a th third of the way there. 
know. May I guess those will have to wait. Shine through you. Oh, hello there. What can I do for you? More incantations. Okay, we bought those. Is it here that we do the remembrances? Talk. Journey to the capital, Landell. To the east of the Altus Plateau, at the foot of the Erd Tree. The two fingers will deny your passage no longer. You may be our best hope. Find your way to the Elden Ring. Yeah, we talked to him last time. So yeah, we're we're going here once we beat the boss, uh, the magma worm boss. Uh, I forget his name. It was took us here somewhere, didn't it? Abandoned coffin. Yeah, that was it. So we're heading here today eventually, but I also want to explore this area here that we haven't found the map for yet because i'm sure there's a map for it and there's most certainly stuff missing there that we haven't done yet and i want to do a bit more around here because there was an npc that we discovered a while back that we ha haven't gone back to yet See old for Riverwell, right? That was the area that took us way underground. Yeah, we should go back there too sometime too. We put a marker there, a beacon. Like right there. Ah, yes. I wonder if you've met my foster father. Uh, no. He's in his study. The room Ensha's guarding just over there. Ensha. If you haven't already. I advise you introduce yourself. Father is leader of the round table. I'm sure talking to him will be worth your while. Yeah, we talked already. What say you, Encha? Give an Encha, you take a mile. Uh, Offer bell bearing. Do we have another one? No bell bearing. I don't need to buy that yet because we're not really using sorceries yet. Hello, dung eater. I asked you not to disturb me. <laughs> He's just doing it in his own dung. Of the whole serenity. It is all that keeps your death and defilement at bay. Okay. So where do we go for that remembrance thing? What is this again? Use the duplicate Ash of War? Okay, I'm not sure how to use that yet. Holy shit, we got so many of those. Hey, there's the remembrance, right. Take the power of its namesake via finger reader. I thought this was the finger reader. Or is there another NPC I'm just missing? Journey to the capital. The two fingers will do. You may be. Um, about Renala, maybe? The Academy of Rhea Lucaria lies to Lingrave's north, towering over the mist-laden lands of Lyernia. Renala is queen of the Carian royals, who govern the Academy, and her great room dwells within the egg she so dearly clutches. Yeah, okay. Wait, maybe there's uh, another description on there somewhere. Um, the 
power of its namesake can be unlocked by the finger reader. Alternatively, it can be used to gain the great bounty of runes. Finger reader. Well, maybe uh, the actual finger itself. Where was the finger? Right. Nothing here. Are you the finger reader? Ah, you have returned. Perceptive. What is it? Especially with no eyes. Uh receive equipment of champions. What? We could buy her gear? That's pretty cool. For 17, uh, what is that? 24, 31,000? Okay. Uh, receive power from Remembrance. This one. Yes. Karian Regal Scepter and Renala's Full Moon. Uh, incarnate a full moon and launch it at foes. 70 intelligence? Holy balls. Okay, what does this say? Magic Scepter of Renala, Queen of the Full Moon. The Glintstone is known as Karian Blue, enhancing full moon sorceries. Only those of the highest intelligence may wield this, the finest of all Glintstone staves. Uh, 60 intelligence. Wow. So yeah, there goes the notion that intelligence stops at 50. We need 70 at least. And there may be even higher ones. Uh, unique skills, spinning weapon. Channel magic into the glintstone to s suspend the scepter in midair and cause it to spin violently. Those it touches will suffer successive magic attacks. Okay. Now go forth. Oh, we will go forth. Let the words of the fingers guide you. <laughs> I look so shocked. Yeah, I'm going to put on a different... Ground, a different helm. And let's read up on that new sorcery we got. Was it a sorcery? Yeah, Renala's full moon. Uh we were no we didn't read that. Sorcery associated with the Karian Queen. Uses the caster as a vessel to incarnate a full moon, then sends it floating towards foes. The full moon dispels all sorcery that touches it, and temporarily reduces magic damage negation for those it strikes. Queen Rayla encountered this enchanting moon when she was uh, young, and later it would be witch the academy. Okay. So yeah, we gotta get 70 intelligence for that eventually. That's, that's a new game plus thing. I upgrade my weapons even further. How about that other boss weapon we got? What do we need for that? This one. Uh, 18 faith. We need three more faith. Shit, we could have put the points from dex into int. Or into faith, rather. And we need 22 dex for that. Just four more decks so we could use this. One more strength too that we could two-hand it. Well, where have you been hiding? I took you for dead. No, <laughs> no not so dead. Sad. Not dead. Lay out your Very much alive. Thing. Uh, we need two more of those. And a rank 5 somber smithing stone. I'm not going to do any duplication yet until I know exactly what I'm doing with that. 
Okay. What's it you? Greetings. Do you hear the spirit tuning? Yes. Ah, uh, there's something you should know? There is? I need to warn you about something. Uh oh. A little while ago, someone started lurking in the wing on the opposite side of the road. Oh, it's that table. edgelord, isn't it? And I can hear, from all the way over there, the howling and wailing of spirits in fear of a curse. I can even hear the repulsive twisted malice in itself. What's a malice in? A plethora of spirits in an unceasing cacophony. Malice and chains? How much suffering inflicted to who knows how many souls. Souls, you say? Souls. Caused anything like this souls confirmed. You should keep your distance. No. I know you're strong, but please. Uh, I'm going to look at that word, Malison. It's a band? Oh, okay. Curse. Malediction. Yeah, according to Google, it's a curse. Let's see what else it says. Well, I'll let that load. We'll come back to it. Let's continue. Okay, can we talk to... Uh, what's his name? Enchi? Give an Enchi take a Miley? Was that his name? This guy. No? Okay. Uh, let's jump down back here. Maybe something else happens. If we get invaded again by a different NPC. I just realized we have to go back to the beginning of the game again to that, uh, like the chariot gauntlet thing with the poison and the, and the deaths <laughs> that we were at. It was, it's been a few episodes since I was down there, but we should go back there soon. Maybe once I get some more poison, uh, cure. Who's this? Judo Chop Viking! <laughs> How's it going, dude? Good to see you here. Lava, oh lava! Time for rump, hey yo! You know what, man? It's slurpy weather. Man, our snow has melted immensely in the last uh, two days. And yeah, that, that only means one thing. Slurpy weather. Slurpy time. I'm doing good, too. I'm doing really good, man. Oh, yeah. Like, it's... Our, our f streets are almost flooded. And the ruts on our streets are, like, fucking... Half a foot high. It's crazy. <laughs> How's your, uh... St. Patrick's Day going? Are you doing anything for that? Yeah, me too, man. It's been, like, really cold this whole winter, and then... The last, like, two or three days, it just kind of 180'd, and now it's melting nicely. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't melt too fast so that flooding is kept to a, a minimum. Yeah, man, we are just getting started tonight. We're going to be here for a while. Hell no, you're not. You're going to see Cannibal Corpse. Oh, but the show sold up fast minute. Or last minute. Dang. That would have been a hell of a show, I think. I've never seen Cannibal Corpse. But it's it's on my list. I hear they put on a really tight show. Like, just a crazy crowd and fucking everyone's mental. 
Yeah, man. Have you seen them before? Let's go here. Yeah, here. You really wanted to see Revocation? Were they playing the same bill? Yeah, from what I've heard, uh, I like Revocation. I've seen a bunch of times. Cool, cool. Yeah, just like a straight up, like classic death metal band. Yeah, man. Fucking Godspeed, you Black Emperors, playing in my city tonight. And uh, I only, like, remembered about it last second. Otherwise, I would have gone. Because they're one of my top bands. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, so there was an NPC disguised as a bush here uh, a few episodes ago that they said to come back. What's this? Material leaf. I can't remember exactly where they were. Were they on this side of the bridge or the other side of the bridge? I think they were on this side. So, uh, Judo, what's been your, your f most favorite, best show you've seen so far? Yeah, you just got back from, from what you say, Peru? And you're going on a, on a few more trips to save up for. Yeah. And I, I know it's it's hard to, like, control spending personally at a show. Like, I gotta get a few shirts, maybe a poster or two, a few drinks. Some, a bunch of swag. When I saw Sleep in, uh, well, 2019, I think, they had a tip jar by the merch booth uh, that had a picture of Tony Iommi on top of it. It was just like a, like a, like a pickle jar or something. And yeah, by the picture of Iomi, it said, fucking, <laughs> praise Iomi. <laughs> so how could you not tip that? Die. It's angry. Probably obituary with Gatekeeper and Enforced so far this year. Okay. This year, wow. No, I meant like all time. All time. <laughs> That's awesome that you've seen multiple shows this year, though, because I haven't been to one in years. I should go. See what's new. See what's up. Who's this? That's the horse we just killed? Okay. Yeah, it's a tough question, I know. I've got like a top five, maybe, of best shows I've seen in my life. don't see that NPC. I thought they were around here. Hmm. Well, maybe they moved and we're running to them again. Uh, also... I discovered a new set of grace. I think it was here? Fort Hate West, no.
Well, anyway, I remember, like, there was a, a set of grace and then some loot that was really close by it. I want to get that loot. Okay, here we go. Your first concert was Ozfest 2002. Okay. Guar with All That Remains. Machine Head with Chi Chimera. Cannibal Corpse with Black Dolly Murder and Goat Whore. A few more that you really need to think about. Yeah, that sounds awesome, dude. I saw Goat Whore with... Um... Shit, who did I see Goat Whore with? A, a Canadian band called Dead Quiet... And a local band called The Hot Shelly Longs. And another local band called Moontan. Who are like Rush... Like Rush Worship, basically. And uh, Menza actually put on that show. And that was like at a small, sweaty club. Which is no longer here. That was that was a sick show. Yeah, that was, that was really fun. Um... So yeah, my top five shows, let's say, would probably be... Okay, my first show was Edge Fest 1998, which was like a, a radio festival put on here in the city. Uh, Green Day, Foo Fighters. Uh, yeah, like Green Day blew my mind. Oh yeah, exactly, dude. Like you're right up there on the stage in front of the bands. Like no separation. You can, like, smell the sweat coming off him. It's fucking awesome. Uh, and then I saw Pantera in 2001. I think... I saw them at their last North American gig ever before shit went south. That was August 1st, 2001. So, like, a month and a week and a half before 9-11. Hell yeah, dude. I still have... Uh, the pick that Rex Brown, the bass player, threw into the audience or the pit. And I I didn't catch it. I saw it land on the floor. And I quickly snatched it up. <laughs> Never saw Pantera. Oh, man. They were fucking unreal. This was for the uh, Reinventing the Steel Tour. So they had like a giant steel uh, logo behind them. With pyro and everything. It, and I was like right... I went with my nephew, my nephew, and I was like, I was like right behind him. He was pretty much front row center, right in front of Phil Anselmo, and I was right behind him. Just like, I couldn't take my eyes off Dimebag. It was amazing. So that's, that's a highlight of a show. And uh, probably Mastodon in 2009, where they played Crack the Sky in its entirety. That was a sick show, too. <laughs> I remember, uh, I, I had a bit of greenery and some beer, like just one beer and like a little hoot. And I remember for for the last song that they played off Crack the Sky, The Last Baron, uh, I like kind of became dizzy and I, I started like hallucinating maybe. My eyes started getting blurry. So I, I turned 90 degrees to my right for like <laughs> a good a good five minute portion of the song. Just kind of, like, zoning out. I didn't, like, get sick or fucking go crazy or anything, but <laughs> after that time was up, I just returned to normal and all was good. <laughs> you have to put the first time you saw Soul Pie, too. Nice. I bet they put on a badass show. Yeah, man, Max. Max sounds like a badass. <laughs> You know, I think it was just because it was like the venue was kind of slanted. The floor was slanted. And I think I... No, I was wearing steel-toed boots. So I think my, my toes were kind of like digging into the steel and that was kind of making uh, me tired when standing. So maybe that had something to do with it. But yeah, like after that, I was fine. <laughs> 
And, uh, okay, that's three, right? Probably the first time I saw Ozzy. That was 2001. Uh, on the Down to Earth tour. That was, like, right when his reality show was taken off. Yeah, I think that was it, because I, I felt like my my feet getting kind of... They were in pain, or uncomfortable. And just combined with, like, the, the fucking smoke, and just the loudness of Mastodon. And just being jam-packed in with everybody else, I'm sure that, that it all contributed to it. And, um... Shit, yeah, there's so many shows. Oh! Rammstein! I saw Rammstein in, like, 2012. And that's... The, the best, like, show I've ever seen in my life. So much pyro, so much fucking... Like, stage production. They made Kiss look like Mr. Rogers. With the amount of pyro that they had. That was great. Oh, you never saw Rammstein either? Oh, man, if you get the chance, go see Rammstein. It's so worth it. Yeah, it's, it's like 10 years ago now, so the, the memory's kind of hazy. But uh, they had this one bit for a song where they put the keyboard player in a giant, like, kettle. And then the singer had, like, a giant flamethrower that he he cooked the kettle with. <laughs> and it made it look like he was fucking, you know, cooking the keyboard player. Everything was fine, though. Yeah, that was a really fun show. <laughs> and they had a for one song they had like a giant cannon that the singer Till uh, sat on like he straddled it and it shot out like foam no that the cannon shaped like a dick and it shot out foam to to, to look like ejaculate <laughs> it's so fucking funny yeah that was a good show so that's my that's my top five Green Day, Pantera, Ozzy, Rammstein, and Mastodon. Yes. Okay, I have no idea where I am. I have no idea where I'm going. I thought the item was around here somewhere. Double rainbow. <laughs> Still some more dragonflies. Oh, giant crab. And apologies about not streaming last night. I know I said I would in the afternoon, but I like I took a nap later that afternoon or evening. And when I woke up, I just wasn't feeling it. So I I, I tend not to stream if I'm not feeling it. As much as I want to play this game. Hell yeah, man. Thank you. This guy sounds angry. Goodbye, Bors. Okay, we need these great dragonfly heads because we use them to make poison cure. And we need more of those. We need all the poison cure. Yeah, we have enough herba. I've got some herba for later. <laughs> Cave moss, we can always get more. But great dragonfly head we need in abundance as well. Frozen Raisin. Okay. 
So there's three areas I want to go to today. I want to explore this part of the map that hasn't been uncovered yet, or here. We've apparently been here a little bit because we have checkpoints, but we haven't found a map for it. And we can continue up here to continue the main story, I guess. And then we can also go further east from here. I think I'll go here first because this is like the earliest. I want to, I don't want to leave stuff. I don't want to leave, I don't want to leave too much stuff unfinished. And yeah, it feels like there's still stuff here that we haven't found yet. Because there's no checkpoints here yet. So let's go here. Ligurnia Lakeshore. Yeah. Oh, man. I watched uh, Zombieland Double Tap last night. Or the night before. Last night? Well, anyway, I watched it recently. Wasn't bad. Not as classic as the first one, maybe. But it had enjoyable moments. I thought that scene with, like, uh, Woody Harrelson's and uh, Jesse Eisenberg's doppelgangers, like, where they were, like, comparing their commandments versus rules, I thought that was kind of uh, unnecessary and kind of it, it dragged on for a bit too long. So I think they could have cut that. And... Uh, the scene with, I don't know, like, the fucking blonde, I, I hated her. She was so annoying. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't bad. It was cool, uh, the ending where, like, where, what's his name, Tallahassee. He he led all the zombies up the up the tower of Babylon, and then he hung onto the crane, and then they all leaped to their deaths. Oh, dude, she was so annoying. I guess it's it's only right that she hooked up with that uh, poser, hipster musician guy. Yeah, that was fucking epic. Yeah, the Berkeley dude, exactly. <laughs> okay. How many roads must a man walk down? Wow, did you write that? Oh, uh, yeah, I did. I'm Bob Dylan. Who the hell are you? <laughs> okay, so we're going like west, northwest. And it would have been... It would have been cool to see... Uh, that, that big bearded dude from the, uh, the Babylon colony get eaten by a zombie. I thought they were, like, leading up to that. But it was not to be. Up we go. Okay, so we were here last time. Yeah, we beat the boss. And I think this takes us to a dead end. Holy shit, what the hell was that? Monkey. Uh, that fight scene in the, like, the bar motel with Rosario Dawson, that was pretty cool. Like, they, it was like a multi-shot or, uh, like a continuous shot type of thing where it continued for a while. That was pretty cool, like, design-wise. But I don't know, part of me thinks that, like, they waited too long for a sequel, because it's, what, 10 years since the original? Yeah, that was that was fun to watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or he, like... He, he's the only one not turning into a zombie. Hmm. 
yeah, I noticed that they that they wait too long to make a sequel, and that may kind of diminish diminish the the interest in the movie. <laughs> hey, what's up, Jeff Coran? How's you doing, buddy? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. We're just talking about uh, Zombieland Double Tap. I saw that a few nights ago. I would give it... You know, I actually would... I actually enjoyed uh, The Dead Don't Die a bit more than Zombieland. Honestly. I'm gonna watch Altered States. Nice. Yeah, I, did you hear that... Uh, what's his name? William Hurt? He passed away, like, yesterday, I think? Oh, you never saw... Um, the Dead Don't Die, I, th I think you would like it. It's a bit more understated and kind of chill. And Bill Murray's in it, too. William Dirt, William Hurt did die the same day that Scott Hall did. Shit. Shit. Yeah, man, Altered States is a great movie. I feel like there's a another uh, side of grace around here. Yeah, all their states is so dope. Maybe I'll watch that tonight. If I can find my DVD copy. Yeah, they're having a cult meeting right there. I don't want no part of their cult. Yo, what is this tower here? What is this? What the fuck? <laughs> she. Can we play, like, Shepherd Simulator? Can we herd these back to pasture? <laughs> Whoa! Let's keep rolling, baby. That's so bizarre. And the funny thing is, we need to kill the dragonfly uh, because they drop something pretty valuable. They drop a uh, a great dragonfly head, which we can use to make a poison uh, cure. <laughs> they are rolling. I don't know why. Fun. Maybe we come here, or we get up here from up here? They they might be Limp Bizkit fans. I don't know. I don't know. They are sheep, after all. Secret wall? Liar ahead. No secret wall. Nope. Oh, poison swamp. Okay, so we got to be on our horse here. Otherwise, we get poisoned. I'll just go this way. Uh, I don't think we've been up here, have we? No, we should go up here, though. We should. Because this is... Well, I kind of wanted to explore up here, too, but I want to see what's here. Nope. Crab, no. I'm not fighting you here. Not on the poison swamp. Let's keep on rolling, baby. 
Village of the Albanarix. Yeah, Alderman has crabs. They should check that out. They should go to a doctor about that. The Elden Doctor. What village is this? No, maybe I'll watch the village tonight. Or not the village, uh, the ring. Because that's on Netflix, and it's been a while since I've seen that one. I should watch it before they take it out. What's happening? Why? Oh, is that my talisman? Uh, acting up? Or activating? Because I think we do uh, more damage with successive attacks now. Larval tier. Hey! Hey! We need that to uh, respect, I think. Key item, probably. Yes. Core of a creature of mimicry known as a silver tear. Yo, that's a fetus, isn't it? As much a substance as it is a living organism. Material required by the amber egg cradled by Renala, queen of the full moon, to birth people anew. Being born anew allows the reallocation of attributes boosted by leveling up. Yeah, so we can uh, re-spec with this. Which I won't do yet. Yeah, well, yeah, we were at one point. And who knows what that fetus could have grown up to be. It could have been a pizza. Hello? Apparition? This village is done for. Please, even if it's just you, old Albus, hide well and steal your breath. Who's Albus? <laughs> it's broken. It doesn't work. Kaput. <laughs> okay, let's rest here. Yeah, four of them grew up to be dying fetus, exactly. <laughs> I thought I heard a faint heartbeat. Oh, it's these... These people on the fucking, uh, hung up there. What did you do? Oh, no. Are they? They're coming from the ground. They're zombies. They're actual zombies. The literal confirmed zombies. Zombies burn? Burn. Shit. Oh, what? We can do that? That's fucking kick ass. I didn't know we could do that. We could breathe fire. Like Gene Simmons. That is so cool. Haha. <laughs> Doesn't cost that much XP either. Or uh, FP. Hell yeah, dude. Look at that. That's so cool. I feel like I'm Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> they do that in Cirque du Soleil, right? <laughs> they do now, yeah. 
Uh, okay, we could go across the bridge or here. I don't think we've been here yet. There's one bridge. Oh, who are you? Magic man. Egocentric plastic man. Get your spices away from me. Don't kill me either. Stop it. Good. Altus Bloom. A golden tinged flower from a succulent plant that blooms on the Altus Plateau. Uh, said to be a funereal flower in an era long past before the Erd Tree grew. Hmm. Hmm. So maybe something to do with uh, faith and incantations later? Hey, look, it's some pot. Try attacking. Rolling and then old codger. Sadness. Please, no. Dear me. Stay away, he's coughing. No secrets lie with me, not a one. Oh, please leave me be. Dude, I just freed you. Wait then. You're not one of them. Well. What a relief. Cover your mouth. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Dune air real? I, For real? What did I say? Albus. An Albinoric. Albus. We heard that name, Albus. The whole village is finished. The curse mongers have destroyed everything. No Fune real, okay. Fune air real. I beg you. Would you look after this medallion? Yes, I will pawn the medallion. Keep it out of the curse mongers hands. <sighs> Halig Tree Secret Medallion. Okay. And if you should meet the young Albinoric Latena, then please give it to her. Who? A chosen land awaits us, Albinorix. The medallion is the key that leads to the city. It's only a quaint treasure for we who cannot make the journey. Not with that attitude. But for dear Latena. Latena, okay, so we gotta. To fulfill Look for Latena. Latena on the antenna. Uh, what do we get? We got like a half crescent thing. Right half of a split medallion depicting the Halig tree. Brandishing the medallion with both halves conjoined will activate the grand lift of rolled, granting access to a hidden path. Of course. In other words, the secret medallion will guide the bearer to the land of Bekela's Halig tree. Okay, so we got to find the other half. And we still got to find the other half of this Dectus medallion, which says it's uh, in Fort Faroth in the Dragon Barrow far to the east. Oh, so this will activate the Grand Lift of Dectus. Okay, so that's how we activate it. Activate it. I was wondering. Okay. Uh, doesn't say where to find the other half of that, though. Okay. My legs will soon fade, and with them, my life. Alas, this. Do you have legs? The immovable fate of all Albinorix. <laughs> Okay. Uh oh. Oh shit. Should we have left him in the pot? Sorry, bro. Ha ha ha. Ivory sickle. Ivory sickle, where is it? Oh, there. Uh, sickle fashioned from ivory. Weapon carried by aged Albinarix. 
These weapons are evidence of their uh, dedication to the Halic Tree, despite never having entered its presence. Okay. So they're taking it uh, at faith. Faith value. Not face value, but faith value. Skill quick step. Okay. Behold, calmness. Poison calmness. I don't think we could jump to that side. I hear, like, slight murmurings and moanings. There it is again. Hello? Oh, it's you! Oh, fuck you! Burn in hell. Be wary of right, yes. Good message, good message. Okay, we came from down here? Yeah, because there's the site of grace. I thought I saw another bridge across the other way down here as well. Yeah, this bridge. So where does that lead to? That way. Okay, let's go this way first. Uh, we could probably level up soon too. 2,000 or 20,000 we need. We have 19,000. Yeah, let's wait. Let's, let's kill some enemies first. What? Wrong flask. Whoa. You're gonna explode? Come back. <laughs> no explode. That tree's fucking boogieing. That's dancing. It's twerking. Hey, that's where we put the the beacon. We can get rid of that. Who are you? Capper what? Capper Demon? Omen killer? With dogs? It is Capper Demon. Angry Capper Demon. <laughs> cool mask though. Okay, let's just get my runes back. I want to go the other way. See if there's something I missed there. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> no, I'm going this way. What a cool area, though. Just, like, under a fucking giant ceiling of rock. Don't knock me off!
my sneak and get my runes back. Yes, good. Okay, we got 2396. We need 20,000 20, so we can level up. What was that? Did you guys see that? I saw something fall from up there. Hmm. Is there something on the roof of that little hut? Uh, just a message. Hey, yeah, it's just a message. Okay, so what stat do you guys think we should level up? I could use more vigor. Um, uh, don't really need arcane because that boosts like discovery, and I don't really need that right now. Um, let's go endurance. <laughs> don't ask me that. I don't know. Yeah, no worries, man. No worries. Um, I think I'll go endurance because that increases our carry weight and our stamina. So we can block stronger attacks. We can wear heavier armor while still being able to fast roll. Yeah. <laughs> Do you play any RPGs, uh, Judo? Let's go this way. Holy shit, who are they here? Who are they here? this Albanaric blood clot rest in peace Scott Hall the thick coagulated blood of the Albanarics which are used for crafting items Al Albanarics are life forms made by human hands thus many believe them to live impure lives untouched by the Erd tree's grace so because they're made by human hands Many believe them to live impure lives. So what would they need to be made by for people to consider them pure? The Ur tree itself? Yeah, untouched by the Ur tree's grace. So the Ur tree definitely has some like divine aura around it, some divine mystic mystique and uh, power. Symphony. Just doing some digging. Hydrate. Hell yeah. Don't mind if I do. Thank you, Juno. I can do some orange juice. Thank you. Oh! I'll just strafe right now. <laughs> orange juice. Good. Thank you. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. No, don't worry about it. A little 
undead. Oh, there's two! Shit, run away! God damn it, Juno! No. <laughs> I kid, I kid. <laughs> Where's the other one? There it is. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> it's all good. We can recover. We can easily recover. Yeah, man. Got him. Got him. <laughs> this crystal sword. Worth it. Sword fashioned from pure crystal. A deed impossible for a human. So someone else must have fashioned it. And wreathed with powerful magic, its attacks its its attack scales with intelligence. So it only has one attack? Because it's singular attack, not attacks, plural. Uh the inscrutable crystallians have but one clear purpose to safeguard their crystals unto the end. One theory posits that they yearn for the return of their creator, who will carve for them new brethren. Who's their creator? Skill spinning slash. Skill favored by dexterous warriors. Slash foes as your body spins. Additional input allows for a follow-up attack. Okay. So I wonder if this would work better against those two uh, Crystallian bosses we encountered earlier. Well, they're like, it's like one boss encounter, but it's two in the same arena. I have more swords than more pe most people playing this, really. I, I have, like, taken a lot of time to just explore and and just enjoy it and not, not rush the experience. So maybe that's why. Behold, joy. And I'm only, like, 40% into it, maybe? So we've got lots more to go. Lots more swords to collect. I know, right? It's so awesome. It's just so wonderful to just get in, uh, engrossed in it and spend, like, half a day just lost. Excuse me. Okay, so I think we got everything here, right? We got the sword. We got the other thing. Yeah, there's nothing like playing a video game for the first time. Especially if it's an open world game. Because, like, it, this game really rewards exploration and curiosity. It's like, oh, what's over there? Let's go see. And then, who knows what you might end up with. Something that might flip the tides in an uh, encounter you were having in earlier, perhaps. Oh, uh, hang on. Let's check out the stats for that sword. The crystal sword. 15 int. We have 10 int, so we need 5 more intelligence. Oh, you played Ghost of Tsushima. Nice. You explored the hell of it. Yeah, awesome, dude. I, I played a little bit of that. Uh, I, I couldn't fully get into it. But it is something I want to continue. You planned a bit? You planted them it? Awesome, man. Uh do uh, do I have you on PSN? Are we friends on PSN? I don't think I have you as a friend on PSN. Let's rest here again. Yeah, man. Uh, let me add you right now. I know, actually, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. I'll get your, like, PSN later. <laughs> are you, are you, uh, uh, an active, like, trophy hunter, a platinum hunter, or you just kind of play the games for, for fun? Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll add it, like, after the stream. Wait, 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 wait. We need to sneak by this guy. Hey, hang on. Certain games, really. Yeah, yeah. Like, if I find a game is... too hard or something, or not fun, then I'm less likely to do it. 
Yeah, if you're close to getting the platinum, then you go for it. Exactly, exactly. If it seems attainable, then yeah. Uh, Fallout 76 was one of, those one of those games for me. Like, when I first got it, the trophies seemed so out of reach. Like, especially the, uh, the level 100 one. But, I just kept playing it, and I got the platinum for that, uh, two weeks ago. Uh, the bonfires are called Sites of Grace, or just Grace. But yeah, I still call them bonfires and souls and Estus and all that. You're almost done with Skyrim? Awesome. Yeah, that's a fun platinum. It's not really hard, it's just kind of time-consuming. Scully. Okay, let's try this again. We take out the dogs first. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, the platinum in, in Skyrim, it takes a while because you have to, like, do a bunch of stuff, but it's not really difficult. It's just kind of time consuming. Oh, backstab! Big damage. Let's go. Did you bleed? Capra Demon Part 2. Uh oh. No! Settle down. You're dead. Easy. My fucking auto mod is a bitch. <laughs> uh, you only platinum Skyrim and the Walking Dead game. Yeah, like the Walking Dead game. You just have to beat it, and then you get the platinum. That's that's an easy platinum. I, I enjoyed the game though. You didn't like it much. Hmm. I enjoyed it. The Daedric artifact trophy was the biggest bitch. Yeah, because it's like, um. Some are, are missable, and a lot of the quests are really glitchy, too. So it's like you really have to call it, follow a, a walkthrough to make sure that you do each quest correctly. Or oh, not big into Telltale games. Yeah, that's fair. They're, they're different, but it's, it, I enjoyed it. It was a fun game. Crucible Knight. Crucible Knot Talisman. Crucible, not talisman. And I think that's the case for all Telltale games, where if you just play through them, you get the platinum. A talisman fashioned from a bony knot that embodies the aspects of various creatures. Which creatures? Said to have grown on the human body long ago. Which human body? Reduces damage and impact of headshots taken. I didn't know headshots do more damage. On me, at least. Uh, a vestige of the crucible of primordial life. Born partially of devolution. It was considered a signifier of the divine in ancient times. But is now increasingly disdained as an impurity. As civilization has advanced. So it's impure. It's an it's abomination. Uh, I gotta look up a word here. Vestige. Vest I, th I think I looked it up before, but I'm a dummy and I forget. Oh, there was a word earlier that I had to look up as well. Malison? Yeah, it's a curse. Malediction. Uh, execration. Ban. Yeah. And this is Vestige. A trace of something that is disappearing or no longer exists. Okay, so something that is going extinct, perhaps. Cool. A 
a vestige of the crucible of primordial life. So something, uh, an, uh, an example or like a, like a physical thing of the crucible of prim primordial life that is going extinct. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Tree. Dog. How many souls did we get? 5,000 souls out of the guy? Uh, I don't know about that. That seems like death. So wait, what does this talisman do again? Oh, headshots, that's right. Headshots. So if, if you're like really wanting to play as an archer, you would probably use that because it increases the power of headshots. Was that there before? Rune arc? Okay. So lonely. Um, how do we come up here in the first place? It was a bridge, right? Yeah, because this is where the boss was. Door. That's a door, all right. Oh, this way. Okay. Yeah, there's the bridge. And I think to the left here was that guy that... Oh, shit! The sorcerer. Maybe we should go this way. Or maybe not. This might be a dead end again. Yes. Yeah, okay. So let's go down here. Yeah, happy St. Saint, Saint Cakes Day, exactly. Yeah, man. March 17th. I remember, uh... The last time I vomited... Before... I had like slight food food poisoning a few years ago was uh March seventeenth, back in like grade five or something. Not counting vomiting from like drinking too much, but from actually being sick. So that's why that date always sticks out to me. The more you know. Okay, let's go back across here. Or was that that was another dead end across here, right? Where we found the crystal sword and all that. Skelly. Last time you vomited from being drunk was when you were 20. Is that the, the infamous uh, story you've told me about a few times? Involving, well, yeah. What if we could jump from here down there? Ah, oh, let's rest here again, anyway. Well, not that one. Okay, that was the night of, of Mel's New Year's Eve party. Okay. Did I know you at the time? I think I think that was like just before we we met, right? Cuz I met Jake when he was like 21 or 22. 
Yeah. So if, if that was in... You mean like 2010? Yeah, if, if that was her basement, then we would have been friends already. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure the first time I was at a party in Mel's basement, we were friends already. And I think I'm, I met Menza there for the first time too, in, Mel, in Mel, Mel's basement. Her mom made awesome fucking nachos. <laughs> very good, very good. Yeah, let's follow this guy. Maybe he knows his way out of here. Yeah, I think this is the way down, right? Isn't it? Yes. Okay. So let's continue this way. It was the same night Andy kept doing that specific salute? Was that the night? I thought that was in... At his place. Or am I getting parties mixed up? Because I thought this, the same night he was doing that specific salute was, yeah, at his place where he was doing like, Hey man, let's do bench presses. That night. Yeah, yeah. I haven't talked to that guy in ages. Tree. Hey, what's this? Smithic stone? Oh, Andy. Okay, we're back here now? This game's confusing. Have we been there? Yes. Convert a tower. Okay. I wonder if we can, like, go around here to our left. Fuck you. I got no top for arrows. <laughs> oh, Andy. You came and you drank without thinking. And you gestured some hands, oh Andy. <laughs> oh Andy. Where does this go? Full speed ahead! Yo! This horse has strong hind legs. Look at that. Look at that. Infinite jump. Infinite jump. Nope, not so infinite. Okay. So if this is just like unreachable, which it might be, uh, let's go to the east and see what's in here. Actually, no, let's, let's fast travel back here, which is where I started with the intention of going here, but we ended up here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I want to explore this un, uh, un... Fucking there. The unknown place. So tomorrow's Friday, right? I may stream this uh, more tomorrow afternoon and then spend the evening uh, recording YouTube videos instead of streaming. So that may be what's going on tomorrow. Okay, let's explore this swamp. There has to be like a map of this area somewhere.
Oh yeah, there's still that dragon we have to beat here. I think it was where that blue light is, so that that uh, beacon. Big grab. Purified runes. Oh, we were here already. Usually on the map, it would show like a little monument uh, where the map would be for this area, but I haven't seen one yet. Holy shit. Oh, there is loot we missed here. Smithing stone, right, too. Cool. Poison, watch out for the poison. Their skin here reminds me of like raw chicken skin on like a drumstick. Very disgusting. Do we really need like 10 of them protecting a rank 2 smithing stone? Is that the painting we saw earlier? Okay, no worries, Judo. Sounds good, buddy. That looks like a painting we saw earlier. Ah, uh, this painting. Prophecy. No, not really. It's like an ascent, but the, the structures on it are different. That's a giant bear. Gate Town Bridge. I wonder if we can uh, aggro it down here and fight it down here. Probably not. <laughs> what was that? Oh, it's coming. We got it. It's coming. It's coming. Holy God. No, it won't jump down. It won't jump down. He could easily make that. Is this a random cave? Why is it always so lonely? This game just like exudes 
loneliness and isolation and despair and pensiveness. Just like the other Dark Souls games. Jump down, bear! Jump! Don't do that! Oh, here we go, here we go. Big bear. Big bear! Yeah, bear! Do you bleed, bear? Ooh! Get that shield block. Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. We're still good. We're still good. Jump. There's that bleed. Yo. It's like a big angry version of Sith. With no sword in his mouth. Stop, stop, stop. I thought the tree would hurt it. Get that bleed, bear. Holy god. Oh, 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 oh. Let's hide here. Don't squash me yet. There, you're dead. Good. That was hectic. 1500 runes. Beast blood. Okay. Uh, where's the closest? There, but that would respawn the bear. I don't want to go there yet. Just like head this way. Keep my eye out for for shiny loot. Whoa. I bet there's a big uh, crystal golem boss in here. Are these are like crystal crabs? Snails? Hello? What? Hello? Hello? Please. Oh, she looks yeah. like she's gonna barf. Uh... Hello? Hello. Hello. It's rather chilly here, isn't it? My mistress sent me off on an errand. But I was accosted by a ruffian. Not those ruffians. And now I'm in a bind. Could I ask you lend a hand? Perhaps. Okay. That thug made off with a precious necklace. I need someone to retrieve it. Only... 
he too is tarnished. Which way did he go? If you've any qualms confronting your own, I shall find another. Ah, uh, yeah, let me hear the request. Oh, thank you dearly. What a blessing that we've met like this. Yeah. The thug should be resting at an abandoned home down the way. Please, I must have the necklace back. An abandoned home down the way. So that could be relatively close or far away. Let's go. Oh, wait. Yeah, I hear this is a new feature with the new update. There's a... Uh, New map markers with, like, named NPCs as we find them on the map. Too bad they didn't add that on day one because, yeah, we've met quite a few NPCs already. That, uh... I forget where half of them were. Oh, it's here. Merchant Kelly. Okay, so they added it retroactively. Awesome. That is fucking awesome. I wonder if we can search by their name. Um, okay, so this is Sites of Grace by area. Okay. What's her name? Oh. Raya? Raya the Scout? Raya, the scout, the scout, yeah, the scout. Whoa. That's beautiful. So that's like northwest. Yeah, that must be Rai Lucaria. Uh, I want to get rid of those beacons real quick, though. There were two, right? Yeah, the four Belfries and Academy Crystal Cave. Uh, screenshot. Place a beacon. Cool. What's that fire? Set of grace. Have we been here? No. Patches! <laughs> I better rest here first. Wait. This might be a, a, a trap. Set of grace as well. I'll, I'll trust it though. What is that? Okay, something, somebody was mentioning... Patches was in this area uh, a few episodes ago as well. So I'm glad we found him. Yeah, Patches, exactly. Screw that guy. We actually fought him as a boss uh, one of the, in the, one of the very first episodes, too. But he gave up, like, halfway through the fight. He started cowering under his shield like the coward he is. Patches! Oh, well. it, it's been a long while. It could have been longer, been Patches. Patches the untethered. I'm still in business, if you can believe I it. I can't believe it. Now I'm my only supplier, so I haven't got much. But everything here is top notch. Patches Emporium, now open in Rea Lucaria. Yeah, that's a squat right there. His, uh, yep. Yeah. 
Uh, speaking of patches, by the way, you rascal. Let that girl, Raya. Yes. She's a strange one, but I believe she was in need of help. He stole the thing. He stole the necklace. Any of my business, but if she rings your bell, why not lend her an ear? I have already. Uh, what can we buy now? Fan daggers. Throw fanned out knives at enemies to inflict damage. Whoa, cool. Grace Mimic. Blast Shard. Stone Sword Key for 5,000. Festering Bloody Fingers. Parrying Dagger. Estoc. Great Arrow. Sacrificial Twig. Horse Crest Wooden Shield. Uh, let's buy the Stone Sword Key. Talk. You're making your way to the Erd Tree. Yes. Oh? Well, I heard something that might help. A special means of reaching your destination. Have you ever seen an Iron Virgin? The clunky no. contraptions are whirlwinds of sickles and spiked wheels. But long ago, they were endowed with a spell of transposition. I don't think so, I Patches. A surviving virgin sits at the bottom of the big water wheel in the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Don't say. It's transpositional powers fully intact. So right, if you get caught in it on purpose, it'll chuck you out straight at the base of the Erd Tree. Or so I'm told. Yeah, I don't know about that. Because <laughs> we, we did that earlier and it, we just got chomped on. So you're lying, Patches. You're a fucking liar. Uh, what you spoke of before. Oh, yeah. Great story, isn't it? I'll tell you as many times as you like. There's a surviving Iron Virgin at the bottom of the big water wheel in the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Mm -hmm. And I heard if you let yourself get caught in it, it'll chuck you out straight at the base of the Ur tree. You're flat-out liar, Patches. <laughs> He's a habitual liar. I hate him. But he's a lovable scamp, so we'll keep him alive. We'll, we'll see what other uh, shenanigans... What is that? And tomfoolery we'll get into. Is that a giant octopus? Land octopus thing? No, it's the same size as usual. Big damage. Easy. One more. Nope. Top me. <laughs> yeah, it is like a mini Kraken. Yeah. Do you hear that? That, uh, <laughs> the echo of its, like, drowning? Like that. There's another one. Okay, so I don't think Patches stole that necklace because there would have been an option to, like, see about it. But he knows about that woman we encountered a bit earlier. Okay, what's this site of grace called? Scenic Isle. Okay. Yeah, Patches is as honest as they get. None more honest as Patches. Not! <laughs> Whoa, they jump! <laughs> Grim Sage the Nico! The raid, hell yeah! Thank you, Grim Sage. Thank you for the raid, how are you? All time no see. Look at this, we got a giant <laughs> mini kraken. How's it going, Grim Sage? 
Oh, Neko. Okay. Not Nico. Grim Sage, the Neko. Cool. How's it going, Grim Sage? Thank you for the raid. What uh, what game were you playing? Oh, like a Japanese cat? Oh, okay. Is that like how you say cat in Japanese? Did it just heal up itself? Readfall, okay. I've heard of that. That's like uh like a third person kind of um medieval RPG, right? Or am I thinking Godfall? Readfall, yeah. It is a uh, how you say cat in Japanese. Cool. Neko, okay. Learn something new every day. Yeah, similar to Skyrim. Yeah, I, I played a little bit. Like, I stopped before the uh, the tutorial. Like, you... I don't remember much, but you have to, like, fight some bandits or some thieves. I know it's kind of generic sounding in my description. And you have to, like, go in through some alleyways or something. Kind of a dumbed-down version of Skyrim, in your opinion. Yeah. It, it's it's kind of hard to to live up to Skyrim's uh, influence a lot of times. But, but I think this game here, Elden Ring, that certainly does it. This game's awesome. I'm enjoying it, like, just as much as Elden Ring. So, uh, was this like your first time streaming, uh, Greedfall, or is it like a, a full-fledged, like, let's play now? Not a lot of spells, but the story is better so far in your opinion. There's more options when it comes to, uh, to story. Okay. So you kind of make choices in the story and kind of dictate where it takes you. Okay. Full playthrough. Nice, nice. You're level 13. Okay, so you're a good ways into it, it seems. And you're enjoying it? Oh, yeah, we saw this from... Here somewhere. What is this? What? Hello? What? Visions of Angel. Hmm. If you have uh, certain skills, you can get different info for story and change the outcome a little bit. Okay. So, like, you can use your your power of charisma or your strength to kind of influence what the uh, the characters say. That's pretty cool. Yeah, like, another game on my backlog of, of a huge list of games I still want to complete sometime. Is that a bird on a tree? A stump? No, it's just a stump. So right now we're in an area called Liurnia. Uh, right here. Yeah, this map is huge. And we're just kind of exploring. Hoping to find a map for this area so it uncovers this. Yeah, or assign skill to, to examine something and change the story. Yeah. Yeah, so it's got... That sounds like a bit like Fallout. Like the older school Fallouts where if you have like a certain percep perception skill or something, you could examine it a bit more closely.
Is that Santa? And his reindeer? It's Santa. Oh, oh. All dead. All the reindeer are dead. Reindeer are dead. Small butterfly fire monk armor. We got that already. And we're looking for uh, a necklace. Or like a, a little house, an abandoned house that an NPC said was like up this way. And I hope we're going the right way. You had two signs and examined the corpse and called the doctor out. You got different dialogue and it changed the progression of the side quest. Okay. So yeah, it's, it, it's kind of good for multiple playthroughs because you can play... Uh, like a, a, a smart guy, one playthrough, or, or a dumb guy the next time. And, and any variation between that. Oh! Yeah, I remember the, uh, the tutorial combat. It's like you, you fight in a courtyard or something and you have to learn how to block and shit. I feel like there's a cave up here. Or something. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Is there a level cap in it? Because you mentioned you were level 13. So if there is, hopefully it's a level cap of like 50 or something. Okay, no worries, Judo. Thanks for stopping by, my dude. Thank you, dude. Uh, yeah, man, you have a good night. Take care, buddy. <laughs> Slurpees for everyone, too. It is Slurpee weather. Yeah, cheers, cheers, Judo. because you stop getting skill points at level 45 or 50, but you can keep getting levels. Okay, so it's just, just like... Oh, I see. Kind of like Fallout 76, where at level 50, you stop getting... Or you can stop uh, increasing your special, but you can still keep leveling up. So you only have, like, a maximum number of perks. Yeah, that sounds like a game right up my alley. I should I should give it a shot sometime. Poison. Fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> In the poison swamp too. Okay, so this was where the NPC was, so I'm guessing up the way would be, like, here, maybe, or along this road. Not. We're way the fuck over here. Shit. Uh, will I be streaming Friday tomorrow? Probably in the afternoon? Maybe in the evening? We'll see.
Or maybe I'll record my YouTube videos in the afternoon and then stream in the evening. We'll see. But yeah, I usually stream around this time. In the evening time. That hurt. Giant crap. Don't squish me. Shit. Fuck. Sleep. A crab can put you to sleep. <laughs> you wanted to pick the game for next stream, but you also want to make sure you're able to attend. Like, you mean with a channel point reward thing? Uh, yeah. Yes. Um. So I think what I would do, if if that happened, when that happened, I would like coordinate with whoever redeemed it. Yeah, the, ch the channel point stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, if you redeem it, I guess, because what is it? It's like, uh, viewer's choice, right? Yeah. Yeah, 10,000, yeah. And yeah, of course, if you redeem it, you want to be there to, to see it, right? Are we friends on... Uh, or not necessarily friends on Discord, but like, are you in my Discord? Are you able to message me on Discord? Because that would be like the best way to... to coordinate, like, the time that I stream your choice, basically. Yeah, of course you'd like to attend. Yeah, if you spend 10,000 points, you'd like to attend. Yeah. I don't blame you. <laughs> yeah, I should be able to do it tomorrow night. Yeah, I, I can move some stuff around and do that. All the giant crabs, all the giant poison crabs here. Okay, we're still heading the wrong direction. We gotta go north. I think you'd be the first person to uh to redeem that, Grim Sage. I don't think everyone anyone's ever done that before. You said of grace. Your stream cutoff time is 1 a.m. when you stream now because things have changed a bit with your work schedule. Okay. Uh, what time zone? I guess Eastern because, yeah, you rated me, what, 10 minutes ago? And it's, yeah, Eastern because it's 12-12 right now. So... Like, you're saying you wouldn't stream tomorrow to watch me play the game that you would request. Is what you're saying. Bali on the lake is the site of grace we're at. And yeah, I usually start around 10 p.m. Central Time. So like, uh, I guess 11 your time. Stop by midnight my time. Okay. So, like, the, about the time I, you raided tonight. Yeah, yeah.
That should be doable. I'm looking forward to uh, to finding out what game you're choosing. I, th I might know. I think I know, but you never know, right? <laughs> Yeah, well, like, I don't really have, like, a set schedule for streaming and doing YouTube stuff. I just kind of do it when I feel like. But it usually is around this time, to be fair. And even though I am streaming a lot of Elden Ring, I have streamed a bit of, like, GTA V and, uh, and music stuff still. But yeah, like, no worries, man. Like, if, if you redeem it... I would do it, because there's a reason I have the channel point up there, right? Oh. Yeah. I keep heading the wrong way, too. We should head north. Okay, let's go back to that NPC. She was here. East. <laughs> Patches. Okay. Let's set a thing there. And uh, I'll probably take a break myself here in about 15 minutes or so. For 10 minutes, roughly. And then I'll come back and continue for another couple hours. Hydrate, yes. Thank you. Orange juice, thank you. <laughs> I think we were at that tower already. Where is that holy shit what was that is this a tower with a map on it no uh so it's like southeast Have you been here? Oh, you're back? Nice. Welcome back, home Sage. Yeah, ads suck. I hate getting them. They just ruin the flow of the conversation. So we might have to follow this, uh, the light trail here to, like, where... That NPC was uh, fuck was leading us. Two of them. That's true. They do support streamers, but yeah, if, if they like hinder conversation and, and like hinder the the flow of the stream, or if they happen at a uh, inopportune time or like an in inconvenient time, that's annoying. Oh, here we go. Should be close by, though. Okay, she's like here, south or north, west. This tower? I think she was in this tower. Yeah, there she is. Hello? 
Derek should be resting at an abandoned home down the way. Abandoned home down Please. the way. I must have the necklace back. What's with your posture? Hmm. Okay, well, let's head north. I don't see any, like, waypoints, though, or, like, obvious, uh, lights along the way. The giant crustacean. Whoa, whoa, new loot. Smithy Stone rank three. Pincers, holy shit. Would this be an abandoned home along the way? Academy Gate Town, we were here before. Golden Rune? Oh, what's with their faces? They're like fish people. Like, uh. Like. Insmouthians, insmouthers. Where's that magic coming from? Magic, magic, magic. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's that coming from? I wonder if this is the abandoned home that she was talking about. This seems much bigger than a, than a home, though. It feels like a village. What was that? Poison flowers. I hate them. Okay, here's the path, it seems like. It. Yeah, let's follow this for a while. Set of grace, new set of grace. Nice. Eastern Lyurnia Lake Shore. Okay. So we were here already. At some point. Uh, let's see what this is, though. Holy crap. I've been live for two hours already. A bit more than two hours. It feels like 45 minutes. I feel like I was here already. Maybe? Maybe not. Karian Study Hall. Hello? Oh, 
celestial globe transmit to posterity the wisdom of the what <laughs> obscure forever the transgressions of the princess the princess has transgressed uh the wisdom of the moon and the stars And obscure forever the transgressions of the princess. So, like, hide them. Cover them up. Study hall entrance. Examine pedestal. What happens? Something fits on this pedestal. Whatever it is, we don't have... Excuse me, we don't have it yet. Lift? Where is this going to take us? Holy shit. Let's go back down, though, because I saw a secret uh, passage here. Here. Ah. Be wary of jumping. Death. So why is that there? Is that a boss room? Looks like... Okay, we just rested there, right? So we could see what, what there is. Yeah, that's death. <laughs> Well, I think I'm going to take a little break. I'll keep the stream going, of course. Uh, should only be 10 minutes or so. And then we'll come back and play for another two or three hours. And do some more exploring. But first, I want to see where that actually takes us to. And I wonder also, because Patches mentioned if we go into the Iron Virgin now, it'll take us to the foot of the Ur Tree, which I know it won't, but I wonder if something different will happen now that he's spoken about it. I doubt it will, but I just gotta check. Just to make sure. Because you never know. Ah, uh, shit, we should get that back. Yeah, I'm going to wait right here. <laughs> In stealth mode. And we'll continue from here. Yeah, so I'll be right back, okay? Ten minutes or so. Be right back.
Yeah. All right, we're back. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. All right. Uh, so we're in a brand new area. <coughs> thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around and watching and hanging out. We're in a brand new area called... Just the study hall? Yeah, Karian study hall. Haven't been here at all. In the study hall. Check, check, check. Yeah. I bet this leads back up to uh, Rhea Lucaria. Hey, Rhea Lucaria? Karian study hall? Car? Be wary of a head ambush. Oh, yeah, I see them on the ceiling there. Is that bats? Something. Oh, it's hands! Ugh. And not. What am I doing? Breathe fire on them? No. That's disturbing as shit. How many hands? Or how many fingers? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine that I see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten or eleven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It increases every time. Yeah, what if we do breathe fire on it? Shit. Decent. Not a lot of uh, runes, though. Golden rune? Who's this? What? Who, what happened here? What? Enemies. Okay, Dancer of the Boreal Valleys. Big damage. It's like another giant mazy library. Is that like grapes and strawberries? Red? Oh, I can't use the torch. It's gems, it's jewelry, it's diamonds, it's rubies. I think I've seen that area before. In a different location. From a different location. What? Where's that coming from? Up here, maybe. Yeah. Okay, let's hide here. If I had like a plant there, I could plant it there. Who's the third man? You're the third man. Hogan. Arrow. Bow and arrow. Hogan. <laughs> okay, thank goodness they only take two hits. Logan. Big hat. Logan. Hogan. Who's that? What's the name? I can't see. Perceptor. Miriam? Cool design on the on the helmet though, on the hat. Preceptor Miriam, yeah. How do we get that bow and arrow? That's like a great bow and arrow magic style. Ooh. Hang on, I have a talisman for this situation, don't I? We switch it up real quick. Um Yeah, the blue one. Yeah. She got a lot of help. So I got a what? She teleports. That was not on the menu. She's like a crystal sage that teleports. <laughs> oh, she got those things too. There, and there's more of these. Oh, what is happening? And now I understand the memes. 
This is BS and to the highest degree. How many are there? There's like six of them. Yeah, this is better. It's a little bit closer. Staggers them at least. Should have blocked that. Whoa. Backstab? Yeah, that's gonna do it. And then a bleed. Yep. Stagger. Teleports away. Oh, she's up there. Oh shit. A real gauntlet this is. Two Estus left. And I don't want to jinx it either, but I think my music issue is fixed since the last update. It doesn't just cut out randomly now. I haven't heard it do that yet on stream, and this is the first time I'm playing it since the update. I think it's 1.03? Okay, where's the sorceress? Carrion, Carrion, Glintstone Staff. I thought we had that already. Oh, speak of the devil. Fucking shit. It's true. Wow. Did you just hear the music cut out? Uh, what did I just pick up? Staff, right? Oh, you got add time, Grim Sage? Dang. <laughs> Lucky one. <laughs> uh, Carrion Regal Scepter is the one we got the, the boss. Carrion Glintstone Staff is the one we picked up. Just picked up. Staff embedded with a blue glintstone. One of two types of Karian staff. Yeah, we have the other one. Given to sorcerers that they might enact the role of knight. Enhances Karian's sword sorceries. Okay. That time over. Nice. Welcome back, Grim Sage. Welcome back. No skill on this Karian glintstone staff, but we have it. Cool. So we're in a brand new area. I haven't been here before. We ran up a set of windy stairs with... A teleporting sorceress who lobbed arrows at us from her giant magic bow. With giant magic arrows. And it's, it seems like she's leading us up here. She has a cool hat though too. She has like designs on it. In a runic fashion. I feel like one of these could be a Secret wall. Probably not, though, because it, it's a checkpoint right there, maybe. That's her. What if we go this way? That's where we came from, I believe. You're saving for a new car and a new GPU. <laughs> nice. What kind of a car? That was a magic roll that has some butter on that rolls. Go the rune? Oh, you're still alive? Yeah, I bet we could like... Yeah, like sneak around her. Holy shit! You heard that? No sneaking around. Whoa, what? Did she just keep doing that until we. Is she following us? Because she seems like the same distance as she was before. Ladder? Oh, shit. I bet there's a site of grace just up here. If you come back here, here's a shortcut. Hopefully. 
This is horrible. There's no... Wait, I've been here before. Bloodborne DLC. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, they got keep coming back. I think this is where we came from. So we're just making a round. Is this where we came from? Yes. 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 Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. One health left. 10,000 runes, that's quite a lot of runes. Okay, let's keep going. We could like run the rest of the way, I think, if we die. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't be too concerned with losing runes now because we've lost them two or three times already. And each time has been like an insignificant amount when it comes to leveling, like half a level or or a quarter of a level or something. There she is, she's close by. Shit, she staggered me. Oh, you're almost dead too. Let's go. Lead. Lead. Awesome. To hell with you. <laughs> Four doors, okay. That's uh, convenient. Four wheels, that's better. Heat and AC. Either four, uh, V4 or V6. Preferably decent on gas if possible. Yeah, that's ideal, man. As, as long as it takes you from point A to point B and looks good to you, then that sounds like a good car. Uh, four doors is way more convenient if you're, like, driving other people around, too, like friends and family. Uh, we got a new sorcery. Crystal magic downpour. One of the sorceries of the Karian royal family summons a mass of magic that fires projectiles over a wide area. The sorcery can be cast while in motion. Charging extends duration. Said to have been taught by the Crystallians to mark the swearing of the old Concord. So it is like fireworks. You don't have a preference on making water. Yeah, exactly. As long as it takes you from point A to point B. Exactly. So this is exactly like fireworks. Uh, yeah, to, like, celebrate the, the swearing-in of the old Concord. Okay. Um. Yeah, we have to go up the ladder, right? Yeah, there it is. I wonder where this will take us. The classic line, I wonder where this will take us. If it's going to be a shortcut, that... Will take us to a, uh, an already discovered place, but I don't recall seeing any uh, doors that we haven't opened yet. There have been a few lifts that we couldn't operate, so I'm sure we'll be able to uh, use them soon. Rat, rat. Oh, this is cool! Like the lighting. I feel like I'm in Phantom of the Opera or something. Like there's a giant despicable organ down there playing the most rotten, dissonant chord. Like that. <laughs> that over there. Hang on. Maybe there's a fake wall. Ladder? I feel like that's a fake wall. No. Trap though, maybe? Nope. Wait, ladder? Wait a second. I don't remember seeing that ladder. I, I swear I did not. Because we came up this way, right? It blends in with the, the chandeliers. That's cool. That's like awesome level design where... Well, I guess it, it's invisible here. <laughs> yeah. But like from, from back there, that's really cool. Some more stuffs. I think I see a chest or another rat. Is 
tons of rats up there. Oh, this is exactly like the the research hall in the Bloodborne DLC. Mixed a bit with like uh also again in Bloodborne in the chapel where you right before you fight blood starved beasts, like where you have to traverse these uh ceiling rafters. Whoa! Whoa, 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 okay. Cool. Ultimate farm right there. Five minute farm, five second farm. That's the ladder. Is that something on the ceiling? What? Whoa, God, fuck you, rat. I should have. <laughs> Classic. It's got more health than the magic zombies. Resurrected zombies. That one can't be alive still. <laughs> I love the vibe of this area. Plan on getting Hogwarts Legacy? No. I'm I'm not big on Harry Potter. I've honestly never seen any Harry Potter movie. I want to, though. I've just never really had the opportunity to. <laughs> Nothing there. Wait. This is a tall-ass building. Full health. Hopefully we get some Estus back soon. Man, we're out of heals. <laughs> we're out of heals. Okay, I guess if we get that one, this one will come running up, so we gotta take this one out. We can, like, knock it off. It's fast. Shit, this is like an Adder Londo. But we got rats instead of painted world knights. What does that say? <laughs> But rats do drop humanity, don't they? Or rune arcs? I think they do drop rune arcs in this game. I still feel uneasy without any health. We might fall real down to our death. Somebody clip that, please. That was a hit song of this year so far. Going viral. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay, we came from down there. There's a loot there. Killed that rat first thing. Trap? This feels like a trap. There's no bloodstains, though. Cerulean Seed Talisman. A cerulean colored talisman patterned after an Erd tree seed. Boosts FP restoration from the Flask of Cerulean Tears. Oh, cool. Okay. Maybe I'll take that instead of... Uh, I think we have a boost in stamina now. Yeah, this would give me, give me an opportunity to use more magic. Which I want to do. The Erd tree was once perfect and eternal. And thus was it believed that Erd tree seeds could not exist. The Urtree was once perfect and eternal, and thus was it believed that Urtree seeds could not exist, because... So it only produces seeds once it dies. Okay. This game... Wow, 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 wow. Sums up with the Urtree. I know it. I can't wait to find out what it is. The tr the Erd tree was us all along. It was the friends we made along the way. I bet that extends somehow. 
Because how do we... We must be able to get up there. There's a switch. Gotta, like, line it up right. I wish we could aim higher in this game. No? That's something, isn't it? That f Maybe it hits a switch on the way down? Is that loot? Seems way far down. Or maybe a message. Is that a hatch? Two handing required a head. Because of the rats? Or because of that thing? What does that say? Help me. Yes. They can't just bring us all the way up here and nothing. Because what do we what's the what's the prize? Just the cerulean thing? It's not bad actually, but still. Try rump. The backside. The underside. From here? Is there something else that I could shoot at? These things? Do we jump on the chandeliers? Secret ahead and short seek up. Yeah. Do we cast the magic? But no, we have to equip it at the site of grace to cast it. So we have to go back. That'd be a waste. I don't think the game wants us to do that, to like cast that magic. Or maybe just cast any uh, sorcery. I don't think I have any attuned. No, fuck. Well, maybe that enemy we killed was a mini boss and is unique and doesn't respawn. So maybe should do this run again. Oh, or use we could use like a, a cuckoo uh, glintstone, can't we? Maybe. Um, I don't want to fall, slip and fall here, too. I have to make one. Hang on. Number, how many do we have? Ten. We can hold the whole, the whole ten. Okay. Where are they, though? Bounces too, okay. What? I thought I had 10, not 2. Oh, my FP! Shit! <laughs> I could use that. Uh, uh, the Flask of Wonders physic now with that magic restoration. Okay, let's go back actually. No health. I don't want to look it up just yet. Um, card study hall. Can we fast travel? Right, because it was just a lift, right? And then we were back here. Oh. 
Uh, I am planning on getting Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Cowabunga collection, when that comes out. That's got 11 classic TMNT games. I'm, I'm stoked for that. At least to replay the first three NES games. Those are a big part of my childhood gaming experience. Oh wait, he's gonna equip the magic. We have four slots now. Um, let's throw pebble. Would that do it? Yeah, we could aim that. That'd be easier. Maybe another one. What is that uh, shit? What do we need for that? Oh, 10 int. There it says. Okay. I think we have 10 int. Yeah. We can't cast any of the other ones, though. Our int is too low. Um. But I think we have a staff now. I could use that to. Past sorceries. Yeah, we need 10 int. Perfect. Yeah. Demi human queen staff, right? We got that from the, the demi human there. Lower limb grave. Awesome. Oh yeah, I was gonna mix the Flask of Wondrous Physic too. This game rules. I love this game. Yeah, uh, tap temporarily raises max stamina. I thought it raised the the rate at which it recovered. Anyway, let's get rid of that. And then wait, that wasn't a shit. That was a talisman. Talismans are like rings. Hang on. <laughs> I'm doing this differently here. Uh... No, that is it. Cerulean Crystal Tear. Yeah. What am I thinking? But then, no, we gotta... This might be better. Steadily restores HP for time and mixed physic. Restores half. But yeah, let's see how much... Um... That restores, though, first. Let's put that first, and then the magic one. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Yeah, let's see. You know what? We're pretty close to leveling up. I'm sure if I use my X... Holy shit, we got 37? That's... That's like... 7,400... runes? Yeah, sweet. That's a level up, isn't it? Sweet. Shit. Uh, we might. We might actually have enough to level up. No, I don't think we do. Cause that's what three thousand. No. But I like that that we. They're so abundant, and when you use them like that, that really helps to reach the next level up. Okay, what should I level up? I leveled up endurance last time. That seems to be working out well. But maybe some more intelligence? Since I can start using staffs. Or decks, because there's lots of cool stuff that each item needs a certain requirement to use. And I'm not there yet for a lot of them. Mine seems to be okay for now. You know, let's bring endurance to 30 since I started taking that up. And then we can always respec it. Now with the with the uh gear. No, it was like a fetus thing, not a tear. Maybe it was both. <laughs> this game, who knows?
go we up. Okay, let's see if these jabronis respawn back. Oh, they did. But no, no mage though, no mini boss. Or is there? I don't see one. Try Scarlet Rot. Okay, I guess that's better on the enemies. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I... I really hope there's some kind of talisman that, like, acts as a... regained talisman, like, from... Bloodborne, or like the, the the ability to regain health after hitting an enemy in Bloodborne. Because yeah, this game certainly and absolutely feels like just a culmination and a very nice, uh, like just a combination, a melting pot of of all their other games. Is there something with this with the chandeliers we have to jump to? Maybe it looks maybe that way. Yeah. Cause that looks survivable. It looks sturdy enough. Or maybe. We use magic on the rats to make them fall off, and then they land on the chandeliers, causing this thing to lower. Because these these chandeliers also look like weights a little bit, but not really. They're because attached to these things. But maybe that'll cause it to fall down and crash. Yeah, it's fucking collapse it, and then bringing this thing down too. Huh. Uh, no, I don't really watch anime. I've seen one anime so far. I want to watch more though. I just never seem to find the time. Like, I fear there's some really good ones, like Akira, I think, is good, and Ghost in the Shell. Or, no. Grave of Fireflies, maybe, as well. Uh, I've seen My Neighbor Tutoro. I think that was what it was called. I enjoyed it. It was it was nice. It was cute. Like a good family film. Good, good message. Those rats are going to drop... Let's try the magic approach on this rat. Walk on. Oh, not that one. Okay. Oh, shit. You're right there. Look what I did to your brother. <laughs> As I jump off. Let's back up a little bit. I like how it curves towards the rat, makes it fall down like that. Golden Ruin. Okay, let's see what happens when we jump down here. Whee! No shit. No shit. That moves. So how... That seems like a too far of a jump to... But wait. There's more. I've heard of this thing called a running jump. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is your MAL? I've never heard that uh, those combinations of letters before 
Well, yeah, you, you just pull some of my Discord or whatever, like, like your list of essential animes. Well, feet, do that. Oh shit, it's a real puzzle. But wait, that just takes us down there, doesn't it? There's got to be something with these. Or anime list. Yeah, uh, yeah, like post it in Discord. That'd be fine. Is that the same thing that died earlier? Or fell earlier? Oh, it's a website. Like uh, a list of, of the animes you've watched and currently watching. Okay. Uh, yeah, post it in my Discord if you want. Is this a new area? No, we've been there. We've been down there. Hua! Maybe this is the faster way down after getting that uh, cerulean thing. Should restore some health, maybe. Well, I guess we're back here. Liar ahead. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to come back here later once I know what to do. There's more to that. I know it. I know it. Well, I'll come back. Okay, so I'll put a beacon right here. And then... Yeah, because that would obviously take us here, wherever this is. Maybe it's a fishing hamlet. And yeah, we gotta find a map fragment inside here, somewhere. But you know what? I, ca I also kind of want to explore new territory, new ground, and new areas right now. Excuse me. Um, let's start by going here. Finger reader crew, and I don't remember that person. Uh, yeah, we just kind of like ventured a bit this way. I didn't really get a Long chance to explore. Rotsview balcony? Yeah, right there. Just the start of this area. And I love that it doesn't cost anything to fast travel. Like no runes or caps or, or uh What's the currency in Borderlands? Credits? Wait, that doesn't cost anything in Borderlands anyway, but that does when you die. Yeah. And speaking of Borderlands, I do want to continue my Borderlands 3 DLC playthrough. Uh, blind playthrough. I have the... Th Caelid. I have the second, third, and fourth DLC to play yet. And I want to do that before I forget completely. Is that a giant skull? Kind of. That's a giant bird, too. <laughs> Post on a general? Okay, cool, cool. Whoa, what the frick? Slime. But I have a, I have a, a new rock and roll expi uh, inspired special move. <laughs> Holy shit, it's a zombie! I never expected to see a zombie in a video game. I think we talked to this person here. It's rotting. Everything rotting, Scarlet. The very earth that Kaelid rests upon and sell you a town of sorcery. The end is nigh for all of us. It rots. It rots. That's the fucking hologram of a tree. I know it. The fucking hologram of a dead tree. I'm calling it. Calling it right now. Hologram. 
It's an apparition. It's a projection. It's a it's an illusion. It's a it's a 4K image. <laughs> A giant ant like shit what a game man. oh yeah there was a a new cave we just came upon a few days ago but I didn't get a chance to go inside we might do a bit more damage now against those those rotten uh, birds here Terrible. Okay, we're doing decent damage. It's like any other scary mini boss. Oh no! I don't want to go there. <laughs> yeah, weird. Hey, okay, halfway dead. Okay, we, that, that's why we need more endurance. Forsaken ruins. Yeah, we've been here before. That's a Halloween costume gone wrong. But you know what I'm thinking? We'll find more uh, upgrade material here. Which will help us in our quest. Yes. 2,000 runes or so? Not bad. What was that? For real. Do we get? Let's try this. Nope. Okay, we have time to dodge that. That's good. Good health. <laughs> uh, if you could put it in, like, there's a movie section or a YouTube section. Post it in there, please, rather. Because I want to keep my Discord relatively organized. So it, pick like the best category. Oh, what a hollow butt! Yeah, Staggeroni. Holy fuck! What's it doing? Was that me or you? What? No, I don't want to fly today. No, 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 no. What sorcery was that? Fucking shit! Right in the butt. What a insult to injury. Shit. Hell of a ride. Hell of a ride. Big chompers. Uh, Snake America. Yes, that was cool. We could do this. We could do this. All right, where was the entrance to the to the cave? I bet we could outrun them with our horse. Yes, yeah, right down here. It does it give us time to insert the key though? Uh, use. Iframes? Thank God for iframes, right? We're safe. <laughs> Pull ahead. Bird ahead. Behold, something incredible. No bloodstains. A bird head helmet, perhaps? Sword of St. Trina. Okay. <laughs> I was expecting the bird. Not gonna lie. A uh, sword of St. Trina? Silver sword carried by clerics of St. Trina. 
inflicts sleep ailment upon foes, like the crabs. St. Trina is an enigmatic figure. Some say she is a comely young girl. Others are sure he is a boy, like Gwendolyn from Dark Souls 1. The only certainty is that their appearance was as sudden as their disappearance. Hmm. Big skill, Mist of Slumber, release a faint purple mist that spreads across a wide frontwards area. This mist inflicts the sleep ailments upon foes. Cool, yeah. That's a first weapon with, like, that sleep ailment. Yeah. Wow, well, what are the stats? <coughs> Fourteen int. Four more we need. Okay. Would that help with the crabs? No, that because they have the sleep thing themselves. So how would that? Was the other one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's how we do it. The glowing yellow. This game's easy. This game shows you everything. That's easy mode for this game. Cool. Well, I'm glad we could do enough damage now to, to stagger those guys. Okay, I didn't want to do that, but that's cool too. Different color gloves. <laughs> I think we did earlier explore along this road, too, but I want to keep doing that. Yeah, we came we came across a pack of, like, zombies? Pretty tough zombies at the time. Hello, Jurassic Park. Oh, it's got hands right there. Oh, and you have red eyes. I'm out of here. I'm sorry I called you Jurassic Park. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Yo, Mike Menza. Hell yeah, my dude. How's it going, buddy? Fuck yeah, man. Mike Menza. <sighs> Laura, yes. Last bit, metal drumming. Yes, it's a fucking raid by my dude, Mike Menza. Mike Menza, hell yeah, buddy. How's it going, my friend? Four more hours, let's go. How was your stream, Mike? Tell me about it, dude. Tell me about it. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody, too. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Welcome to the stream. My name's Tim Cleaver. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are streaming Elden Ring today. Hello from Sydney, nice. Hello. Sydney, Australia. Well, uh, hello from Winnipeg, Canada. Mike Shreds, thanks for following, dude. Cool name, man. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Venomalina, hello. Chill, dude. You hung out and played Hollow Knight. Nice. That's a good game, man. I played a bit of that with uh, Storybook Gamer. Teen Island Range before this is going to be interesting. Yeah, it's going to be interesting for sure, man. Welcome in. Yeet. Yeet the child. Nice to meet you too, Laura. Hell yeah. <laughs> Two for four more hours. I might jest. I might jest. So we're in Jurassic Park right now. And this dinosaur has not red eyes like the one we fought before. Shit. Does a lot of damage though. Boris, Boris is coming right up, Venomalina. Holy shit! But not before this bird takes us away. This game's incredible. <laughs> Four more hours? Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, what did you guys do for St. Patrick's Day? What did you guys get up to? Uh, Steak America? <laughs> You're driving, Venomalina? Nice. Did nothing? Yeah, man. I I just hung out and chilled like usual. I heard there was a, a Godspeed You Black Emperor show today, but I didn't go to that. 
Your work came home, played guitar, the video games, yeah, man. That's that's what you got to do, and it's it's fun times too. Yeah, absolutely, Venomalina. Drive safe. Drive safe. You were green and ate cookies. <laughs> that's a good start. That sounds like fun. Were they uh, like green smarty cookies? What kind of cookies were they? Uh, Mike, did you play any new songs in your set? I feel like my runes are real close by here. You get a backstab that way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, the other one comes right along there to mess things up. <laughs> oh, you didn't play any guitar. Right, you said you're playing Hollow Knight. My bad, my bad. Was that your first time playing Hollow Knight? Hello. The, the great game. I enjoy it very much. They were uh, standard chocolate chips. That's my absolute favorite kind of cookie. Classic, classic. A blast pit, metal drumming. Thanks for following, dude. Welcome in. Played it a bunch on PS4. Okay. Yeah, that, that's a game like Dark Souls where it's very maze-like and, and hard to figure out. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So there was a dinosaur earlier that had like red eyes. I guess that was the boss of them. A bit harder enemy. Hefty beast bone. Hell yeah. So I, I do a bit of guitar playing myself too. Uh, I don't stream as much guitar on stream now, but I still play it every day. I've been playing for like 25 years. I love it. And I know a lot of Mastodon. I know a lot of like Black Sabbath and Led Zeppelin and Melvins and Neurosis, Pink Floyd, classic metal, classic rock, classic punk. Ramones, fucking ACDC, let's go. Hefty piece, bro. That's what it's all about. I'm learning more Pantera at the moment. I'm learning the Crazy Train solo on guitar. That's a wicked ass solo. Is this the boss? Mini boss. So, I, I believe that that tree, the Erd tree, is a hologram. I'm calling it. Do you guys agree or disagree? Oh, please, hologram. <laughs> no hologram. <laughs> Birds are everywhere. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> the absurdity of it. <laughs> Holy shit, get the burb. Fucking A. <laughs> thank you, Viking Gamer, and thank you, Mike Manzo. <laughs> it does, it does really work well with the game. <laughs> exactly, Laura. Exactly. <laughs> Never when I started streams tonight did I think that I'd be fighting a giant dinosaur while getting visions of the Titanic in my head. Never. That ne that was like the furthest thing. That was like complete 180 degrees of my, my thought. <laughs> what the shit? Fuck! <laughs> okay, we gotta go find another enemy, quick. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Dinosaurs are absolutely the bomb. Dinosaurs rule. I love dinosaurs. Thank you, my dude. Holy shit, that's awesome. Shout out to Mike Menza, man. If you're new here, if you're not here from the raid, if you are here from the raid, Mike Menza, hell of a dude. Best dude. Thank you, Mike. That fight was much better on the Bors. It was. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, you see his name in there in chat. 
Everyone follow Mike Benzer right now. Do it. Do it or die. Yeah, so what do you guys think? Hologram or no? I, I believe it's a hologram. And welcome in Viking Gamer, by the way. Hell yeah. This game rules, right, Viking? You're playing it more? This game is sick. Yeah, like... like even though... Like, they're two classic movies, right? Like... Jurassic Park and Titanic. <laughs> Same time period. Hey, is that a new side of grace? Yes. There's Bors. So this this animal is like a combination of horse and bull. And uh, myself and Venomalina here, uh, who may not be in chat right now, we came upon the name Bors. It's, oh no. it's like a horse and a Bors. Or bull. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for following. Eat that child. Welcome in. Welcome. Let's go. Venomalina, you see Bors? Yeah, Bors is so sweet. Bors is like our clutch. Just when we, we think we, we have the, the lower hand in a fight, along comes Bors to the rescue. Kalem Ruins. Okay, this is neat. I think we haven't been here yet. Is that a dude? Yeah, that is a fire zombie. What's your move? Settle down, fucking Pluto. <laughs> so I've heard in like reviews and shit that this part of the game looks like Bloodborne. And I could I could tell why so far, like a blood red sky. Horrible creatures. Oh, there's lots of them. There's lots. They're going to explode in my face. But they do that themselves, so it's okay. This guy looks awesome, I know, right? Like, look at that shade right there. Right, tr right next to the tree. It's like it's darker uh, the closer you get to the tree. Well, it's pretty dark everywhere. <laughs> It's just a cool combination of colors, like a blood red and a bright yellow. And yeah, like all game, we're leading towards that giant ass tree. And there's a mystery behind it. I know there is. That's that's the goal of the game. We've got to find that mystery. We've got to solve it. And we're playing as a tarnished. And that'll answer maybe some questions why we're tarnished. But I'm more interested in just knowing what's what's up with that tree. Like, it's got to be the source of life in this game. At the very least. Do we get runes when they do that? It does look like where Grim lives. It does, man. Yeah. <laughs> He's got awesome, like, excuse me, video effects, too. His green screen mastery is out of this world. Pirate Grim, business Grim. Holy shit! Cannon! What the frick? Ah! Whoa! Oh, settle down there. Okay, we've seen a few of these before. Already, already spaghetti. Don't get caught in the wheels there. So fast! Shit! 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 Ah! <laughs> I like the extra screams of death. <laughs> Two awesome raids today. First one from Grim Sage, now from Mike Menza. Awesome, awesome. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to go for another couple hours at least. Four hours? That sounds about right. There's got to be another uh, cave down here, too. Yeah, let's avoid those exploding zombies for now. Holy shit, that there's, we can't avoid that thing. There's no avoiding that thing. Where's my runes? 
Oh, there's another one. There's more. There's like three of them. This is the real enemy. Not those... Oh, shit. There's not those birds. Another shiny. Where's my runes? Oh, there. <laughs> Dance. <laughs> Thank you, Anonymous. <laughs> Thank you very much. Shout out to Anonymous. Boris does parkour? He does now. <laughs> Boris does whatever. <laughs> that was so close. We were almost dead. Holy shit. Another beautiful dance brought to you by Titanic. <laughs> Where's our... We got our runes back. Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah. We haven't been down here. Let's go down here. Lots of message. Oh, we got a boss fight. We got a boss fight. Okay. Okay. P prediction poll please you guys think it's a giant bird or a giant one of those like i think they're called iron virgins where they like shoot fire at you let's see i say one of those with like a bird head what two peter pumpkin heads mad pumpkin head hammer and flail okay Try some bleed. Oh, it's hit hard. They hit hard. Run away! Fuck. Okay, like a few of those, they should be done. We're just gonna keep our distance and not get hit. <laughs> Hell yeah. After this dungeon, I kind of want to just drive down the road there and maybe not stop for interesting landmarks. And maybe just try to make some progress, like, physically rather than uh, exploratively. That's a word, right? Exploratively. And the runes are back here. Where? Where the shit? Oh, they're underground, probably. They're underground. Right, right, right. How <laughs> do we get back underground? <laughs> Those things sound horrible, too. Is it here? And yeah, there's a st st still that item we gotta get, so let's go up here. Horse! Great! Dragonfly head, nice. We can craft uh, poison cure for that. With that. That's awesome. That reminds me of like an Oblivion uh, level from <laughs> Oblivion Elder Scrolls 4. Oblivion. Right in the middle. Don't get stuck on that, whatever that is, a flag. 
one's almost dead. <laughs> yeah, we need to be closer for that. Oh, that was a bit faster. Obey your master. You got enough FP left? Wait. How many moons? 6,300, not bad. So they're increasing in, in, in number now from the the drop of the XP that we get from bosses. Visage shield? That's a shield? <laughs> Does it breathe fire? 44 strength. Trick some bronze shield depicting the face of a fire giant. Several tongues leap from its open mouth. The dreadful visage and burning flames are designed to remind one of the horror of facing a fire giant. That's what they're called, a fire giant. In other words, this shield has an instrumental, instructional function. They're designed to remind one of the horror of facing the fire giant. But it's facing away from us because we're wielding the shield. In other words, the shield has an instructional, an instructional function. Yeah. Beware the flame. Beware the, the fingers. The two fingers of this game. There's a mysterious uh, being in this game called the two fingers. And we have to figure out what they are. Uh, weak skill. Tongues of fire. Ready the shield and spray violent jets of fire from the tongues protruding from its maw. Hold to continue spraying fire. The skill can be used while walking. <laughs> like a fucking flamethrower. I wonder if we need the strength to actually do that. To, to spew the fire. Probably. Let's check it anyway. We wield it with both hands, right? 44 strength. We have 33. Half of 33 is... 16.5? Plus 33 would be 49. Yeah, we could two-hand that. Uh, shield. <laughs> and then L2. <laughs> oh, we're out of FP, though. Hang on. We have a newly flask of wondrous physic. <laughs> You're back home, Venomalina? Right on, just in time. That flute music was awesome. Check this out, Venomalina. We've got a new shield that spews fire. I'm glad to hear you made it home safe. So cool. So cool. What's the block of this? 100% physical block. Good, I was expecting that. Uh, heavy load, yeah, so we have to roll slower now. <laughs> it looks like we're dancing. <laughs> no worries, Mike. Thank you so much for the raid, man. Much appreciated. You have a good night, my, my friend. Hell yeah, man. Thank you. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Yes, yes. <laughs> And thank you for the Titanic and the bits, man. Much appreciated as well. Yes, thank you. Look what I got. <coughs> Wait, we got Borst, though. That was pretty cool. Oh, there's a little dude sitting in the back of him. No, there isn't. Maybe this would be better with with our Borse. No, that staggers us big time. 
acquire material. Okay, I said it was going to go down the road, right? So let's do that. You rested there, right? No, Bor Boris is okay magically. Uh, somehow they don't have any... Well, they do have a health bar, now that I think about it. But it's been a while since they uh, didn't make it. It seems like the only boss or enemy so far that hurt Boris was that first Tree Sentinel boss at the very beginning of the game. So far it's been okay. I feel like we should upgrade the shield because it's been like a mainstay since I pretty much began the game and it's dependable, sturdy. <clears throat> I think we have enough upgrade material as well. Um, and we should be able to afford it. Yeah, we came from that way. Okay, so let's go this way. I still want to go here, though, as well, at some point today. Let's see what that is. Which way does the road go? Sweet, this way. Do <laughs> telescope? Wow. That's a screenshot. I gotta take a screenshot of that. Let's see what else we can see. Giant magical holographic earth tree. Yeah, it's fucking see through, transparent. Oh, oh hello. Do we talk to you already? You. Please, I can read them. You can read what? Your fingers. Please, your fingers. I think we did meet her before. Ah, uh, yeah, here's my hands. Oh, oh, bless you. Oh, oh. Are you one for festivals or flowers? Sure. To the south, a grand festival to make the stars turn with the magic <laughs> to the east a hardened bud of a flower to be mm. but dare you enter i dare into the heart of the scarlet rot i'm reconsidering <laughs> no i'm going to go of course i'm going to go don't die on me now. Say anything else? You. Please. Another set of grace. So she gave us two directions, south and east. So we will eventually head there generally. Smoldering wall, generally. <laughs> South and east. That looks like another cave here. Let's go south. 10,000 runes exactly. Look at that bottom right. 10,000 runes exactly. How did that work out? Who are these guys?
What is that? Like a just walking grasshopper? Caterpillar? With a scythe type weapon? Pretty fast, too. One, two, three, four. Oh, my time is all off. Backstab, can we backstab? Probably not. Can't get around it. It's got such a long tail. No, I don't like that thing either. That's, that's some of the worst things I've seen so far in the game. Every new area that we get to, it's like some new area, a uh, new enemy. Of some abomin abomination. Animal combination. There is there. <laughs> that sounds like some metal lyrics too. Animal... Abomination combination? No, what did I say? Abomination animal combination? Peter Pumpkinhead right there. Yeah, we gotta watch out for that tail. Exactly. Let's go over that way. What's it guarding? Is it holding a giant hammer? That's the sign of a good game. Where it's like, you say to yourself, I'm just gonna go this way and not stop for anything. I see a random enemy standing there with a pumpkin on its head holding a keg on a stick as a weapon. Oh no, it's not a keg. He's got some cronies with him too. Uh, I think it's alive, this thing. And more enemies around it. That could be alive, actually. There could be enemies dropping from that. You're right. You're right. Is that a... What's buried there? Giant dinosaur. What kind of camp is this? What's that noise? This game is something else. Can we sneaks? I think we can sneaks. <laughs> but we can't jumps! We can sneaks, but we can't jumps. Oh, we can jumps. Ah, look at that geyser. Lots of geyser we've ever seen, motherfucker. Okay, there's another one here. Oh, there you are. There you are, I see you. You can fight over here. That would save me a lot of trouble. Wait, we got magic though, don't we? Decent damage. More than I was expecting. No, I don't think I'll fall unless, like, an enemy pushes me. Just gotta be sneaky. And I wonder if we fall into that thing, it'll be like. It'll, uh. No, it, it might just devour us and dis dissemin disseminate us or dis disseminate us. Kill us, basically. There's three right there. Our health is okay, relatively. Uh, wait, hang on. Perfect time. For a fire bomb, fire pot. Oh, something heard something. Oh, shit! You heard the jumps. Fuck! Oh, he beat me to it! <laughs> oh, now the whole shebang. <laughs> Uh, shit, let's hang on. There's like, holy shit, there's more than I thought. So run in circles, one at a time. Decent damage. We hit the big guy. The splash damage. Oh, he hits us. Don't fall on the thing. Oh! 
<laughs> literally decapitated. Hey, where'd he go? Yeah, there was a set of grace close by, right? So it had to be. <laughs> I wonder what they're hiding. They're, they gotta be hiding something good. Let's take Bors. What? Whistle but no Bors? There's Bors. I bet there's another giant dragon in that lake right there. That seems to be a pretty uh, even equation. Lake equals dragon. Where's my runes? Here they are. We are back, Venomalina. Okay, no worries. No worries. See you soon. My runes are here. Uh, let's try the sneak approach again. Yeah. Depends where my runes are, though. They're there. They hear something. Oh, shit, you heard that? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, yeah, we can kill this guy. There's a cave there. There is a cave there. Kill this guy before he alerts the others. What kind of move was that? I said before he alerts the others. The game wasn't listening. <laughs> Let's try Bors. No, it's got slower reflexes. The, the, it takes longer to respond to the controls. Bors does. Okay, let's get our runes back and make a run for it. I want to see what what is past there. It's going to be something good. Have we been there, that castle, yet? I don't think we've been there. Maybe that's what it's lead leading into. Maybe. No cave or anything? No loot? What was the flower? Flower! No flower? Michaela's Lily. Okay, we got that before. Dragonflies. I bet this is poison too. Oh right, we gotta follow these NPCs. I completely forgot about that. We encountered one earlier today, but I forget where it was. It was in this in uh, Liernia, but I forget exactly where. Unless we could do this. Oh, it doesn't show up on the map. Where did he go? Was that it? That was him. There he is.
What the frick is that? Giant deadly... Oh no, magic flower. I hate these. These are my worst enemy. Least favorite by far. Is that the Scarlet Rot? That must be the Scarlet Rot. Oh man, so much. Scarlet Rot. Yeah, what does that do? Lowers our health. That's it. <laughs> Probably not just it. Hit the thing. Hit the big flower. What? Oh, that's what it does the magic. No, I didn't think we were safe at its feet. Shit. That's a fog gate right behind it. That's something behind it. That's a boss. We can just run there. <laughs> Is it even a bigger flower boss? I bet it's an even bigger flower boss. Has to be. Maybe it's the biggest, like, Peter Pumpkinhead boss we've seen yet. The best, the biggest one. I guess, yeah, it was leading us to that fog gate. Most likely. Yeah, what is this? Okay, we need a key. We have a key. Stone sort of key. We have lots of these. Visions of secret passage and then be wary of boss. Of course, there's always a boss. Site of Grace. Jail Cave. Okay. Very straightforward name. It's a jail cave. It's a cave. That's a jail. Or is it a jail? That's also a cave. Trap? Nope. Rune Arc? Golden Rune. <laughs> He's sneaking too. <laughs> you thought you were losing your hearing because of being sick, but now you're convinced it was the Titanic flute. It was the Titanic flute. Just like played in a in a joking way, in like a intentionally bad way. With the recorder. No horse ahead, Venomalina. Message ahead that says no horse ahead. So no horse. Run away! He's afraid of rats. <laughs> yeah, it was so awesome. Perfect timing, too. I bet we need a key for this. Oh, that was, that was a glorious sound. Does not open from the side. Only had a key, but no option comes up to use a key. Hmm. Okay. So come back later with the key. So that's at least two or three locations I could think about 
we're, we have to go back once we get something. Uh, let's place a marker here so I remember. Yeah, jail cave. We'll put it like right here. Okay, let's go further down that road then. We should be able to get back to it from here. Is this a same fort or a different fort? Looks like a different fort. Kaled Waypoint Ruins. Oh, the sound they make too. Scorpions. Uh, rot grease. Ooh, not the quarter. Okay, let's read up on that rock grease. Solidified grease made from a mixture of rotten materials. Craftable item. Coats armament inflicting scarlet rot. The effect only lasts... Lasts only for a short time. Long enough, though, probably. Hello, what are you? We've got the scarlet rot. It's like a regular dog, but it's got the Scarlet Rot. There's got to be another affliction that is included with Scarlet Rot. Because otherwise it's just like... Faster Poison? Beast of Blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. They're flanking me from both sides. Run away. Run, run, run. Whoa! Are you the one that's casting magic? Show yourself. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I just want to do one move. I'm going to do not that move. Whoa! That move. Oh, you're dead. Good. Oh, man. I don't know, know how we avoided that. Nice hat. Is that a mushroom? That's a mushroom, right? That's a mushroom. Oh, shit. You move so fast. Not really worth it with the magic. Got my shield back, so I have to block. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Turns around magically somehow. Still works. Did I do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. How many runes? 612 runes. Oh, if that would have sent a shockwave. It's always the same moves. It's like one, and then three or four quick jabs, and then another one, and then we do the thing. That seems to be uh, uh, a very common pattern for a lot of these enemies. Like three hits, and then we, we block and then attack. Oh, wait, let's summon our jellyfish. We haven't done that in a while. Oh, wait, I need magic for my jellyfish. But wait, I have a flask that restores that, so we could do that. <laughs> I thought of it all. No, not the fire pot. I didn't think of it all. What? No, I don't want to do that right now. No, 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 no. I wanted to do this. <laughs> Spirit jellyfish. Yeah, not, not the fucking pose.
health is okay for now. Scarlet Rot is okay. When I hit my own jellyfish, I never realized if we could do friendly fire to the jellyfish. That probably inflicts Scarlet Rot to you. What? Backstab. Oh, we can backstab. Backstabation confirmed. That'd be a tail stab? Backstab. Dropped something, didn't it? I feel like we should be able to upgrade our spirit summons as well. Back at the at the base. Um seventeen thousand. That's the cave. Yeah, let's keep going. Amazing sound in this area too. Amazing like just atmospheric sound. Still no head. <laughs> I feel like there's a cave down here. Oh, there's an enemy. Two enemies. Corpse, what are we miss? Toxic mushroom. I feel like there's a cave down here. Not the one we just came from. Is that what I'm talking about? That's good, that staggers it. That's such a cool move. I'm so glad we could backstab that abomination too. Seems appropriate. What are those? Rats. Something. Are they wearing little hats? Or no, they're, they're scarabs. Yeah, we have like some uh, helmets that look like that with like the, the big ears, I think. It's horrible. Horrible venom over there. Poison. Uh, are we afflicted by poison? I think. I didn't notice. Is it yeah, it is. Okay, we should get rid of that. They look like beetles mixed with spiders because they shoot the the silk. They're still alive. They're like little wizards. With mushrooms on their heads. Okay, yeah, these guys, their heads. With their antennas and the hat, looks like uh, one of these. Yeah. Except Morses are almost like a like a path up. I don't know how what the correct term is, and these are like more uh, like canvas, maybe. Same shape though. Yeah, I would hide too. This game's scary as shit. Uh, let's get my. You know what? Let's let's keep this on for now. Oh shit! 
Oh, you're right there? Okay. I just wanted to raise my shield. Reminds me of that uh, jail level in Resident Evil 4 in the castle where there's like a bunch of fl giant flying like fucking fly things that uh, kick open the, the jail cell doors. Oh, way more disgusting than spiders. They're, they're like combinations of all horrible things. <laughs> it's like fungus growing out of the tombs. Oh, they jump! Okay, cool. We got some heals back. Uh, let's go see what's through this door. Some blood stains. Trap. Oh. Meteoric or blade. Sounds pretty fun. Katana forged from meteoric ore to dispatch life forms born of falling stars. Deals magic damage, I thought so. The blade is weighty, known to deliver slashes of such ferocity that the impact is said to resemble the crash of a falling meteor. Skill gravitas. Uh, I think we read that already somewhere. Yeah. About uh, alabaster lords about the skin of stone. Uh, 18 int. 15 strength, 14 dex. So eight more levels to use that. The impact is said to resemble the crash of a falling meteor. So it's probably like a, the magic equivalent to like a Zweihander, maybe. That just pancakes your opponents. Very cool. I'm noticing there's more like combination of build types. Like, I guess the, the almost cliche is like strength dex, or sorry, strength faith, strength faith, and then dex intelligence. And I'm noticing more, like, s strength, int, and dex, faith, in this game. Which is cool. It's just a greater variety of, of options. That's death. <laughs> Have we been there? South? No, we haven't. Yes, we have. Maybe? Is that the same area? Or is that that? Fort Hate. I think we've been there. Yeah, that's Fort Hate. We've been there. You're lost? So am I, Venomalina. So am I. All we have is like the, the Erd trees to guide us. The rain, the sun, the moon. We'll get there. We'll get there someday. What do they say? It's the journey, not the destination, right? It's the journey. This guy's watching out. It's his last day. He's going to retire. Uh oh. Oh, he's guarding the treasure. You recognize magic trees and the sky is beautiful. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that ties into my theory, too, that the, the trees are holograms, which would be a form of magic. Especially the, the big Ur tree, especially that thing. It's magic. Ooh. <laughs> oh, what? 
What? What? What? Oh, what? Because you know it's me. The sound it makes. It's like it's got extra armor on its tail, too. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what I'm thinking. They're the forever home of the, of the Lost Souls that didn't make it through the game. Exactly. It's a, it's a meta way of tying it all together. Which goes into my theory earlier about uh, it being like a burial place. And it's like just a combination of, of all past uh, souls and lives. Still alive. Exactly. Exactly. And these trees, those trees grew from the, the leaves that fell from that giant tree. Poison loop. Okay. What does it say? Ah, beautiful. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Okay, let's go along the way. Wait, you're not dead yet? I thought we killed all of you. Oh, I missed these. Set of grace up there. It feels like I'm in Red Dead Redemption when I when you get to Mexico for the first time. That song comes on the radio. Well, not the radio, but like the <laughs> the soundtrack. So far away. Ah, uh, we should be able to level up. Twenty-two thousand. 1,000. Perfect. Let's go more endurance. It's almost like that gnarled up tree is pointing us towards this. Starlight Shards. Our first one. I think. No, we've got more. <laughs> I think that tower right there, right above our head, right there, is where we started the game. Uh, that'd be here. No, it's not. Okay. No, that wouldn't be the Tower of Return. Beautiful view, though. Where's the road? There's the road. God, what was this site of grace called? Caitlin Highway South. Okay. Oh, there's a map marker. Okay, sweet. We can pick that up. And that'll 
reveal the map here for this part. Holy shit, dragon! Decaying act zikes! He gads! Yikes! The decaying ex zikes! What the fuck does it even mean? Decaying ex zikes? So strong. It's not decayed at all. Big damage, let's go. I like it. It is decaying. One sword slash at a time. Force! Where's my thing? Why can't I use it? There we go. Eek Zykes! What does that mean? Poison! Big poison! Holy fuck! Scarlet Rot! Wow. Wow. I know, right? Rip, indeed. I gotta look up that word. X Sykes? Is that like a word they created for this game, or does it exist in other places? X Sykes. Was that it? X Sykes? Yeah, the first thing that pops up is this thing, not just X Sykes. <laughs> I'm not going to look up, like, how to beat it. Not yet. Not ever. Okay, let's uh, try that again. So is there any... Uh, fucking magic form that is extra powerful against creatures with Scarlet Rot? Whoa. Killed my horse right off the bat. Uh, something see? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll come back here. <laughs> I can't get the map yet. Okay, let's go back to the thing. Right there. The Bors will make it. The Bors always lives. If I have enough. <laughs> Conditionally, the Bors lives if I have enough healing potions. We'll have to ride past it. Quietly. We might actually have to let the Bors go down and do this. Because I think galloping past it will just awake it. What cavity is that? Quaylag part two? Wow. Looks kind of cute from here, though, too. Looks like one of the, the animals from uh, Never Ending Story. Look kind of bad for it. Afflicted by the Scarlet Rot. It's got no control over it. Uh, yeah, where was that checkpoint? Kaelid Highway South. Okay. Uh, yeah, I do. I'll put a... Yeah. Waypoint. Beacon. I feel like I'm uh, in uh, bedrock right now with the Flintstones. I need a car that I could just drive with my feet. I thought there was a cave here. Okay, no cave. I 
I heard of a castle down south here. Uh, a few days ago since we heard it. What was it? Another site of grace. Okay. And a thing. Golden seed. Cool. Well, it's not a site of grace. It's just a tree. I think that's a tree, too, peeking up above that rock. But what is that? Is that... Is that an antenna? What is that? <laughs> It'll lead to death. What's the treasure? Band daggers. Okay. Uh, we could have bought them from uh, an NPC just a bit earlier, too. That's another dinosaur with red eyes. Band daggers. Where are they? Maybe they're, uh, they're, like, a consumable. Yes. A uh, set of five throwing knives bundled together. A concealed weapon cherished by the raptor assassins. They are raptors. The thin knives fan out when thrown, dealing damage to the target. Each knife deals paltry damage, but the wide range makes it suitable for constraining enemies. Okay, so for, like, uh, stopping power. So each individual knife deals very little damage, like... Embarrassingly low damage, but altogether it, it deals stopping power. We have six. And what what was the reference to Raptors? Uh Cherished by the Raptor Assassins, okay. I thought it was like part of the Raptor itself made out of that. Let's try one. But like, when it charges at us, maybe. Decent damage. No stopping power, not on this... Big guy yet, though. Ah. Yep. I thought I heard a flute. Maybe that was just like signifying the the end of the, the encounter. Oh, you're even worse. You got more health, you're old. Can I backstab? Oh, it's like trying to howl, but it can't. Holy shit. Holy shit, you're watching with one eye? <laughs> Watch with one eye open. <laughs> it's pretty freaky, Alina. Let's see where that goes. I bet it points to a cave. Guide and gatekeeper for those returning to the roots.
What is that? Standing on its hind legs. That looks like something horrible. That thing right there. Uh, where's my telescope? What is that? It's like a fossilized snake. <laughs> you might want to keep that one eye closed, Alina. Is that a finger? Lots of, like, finger imagery in this game. No lie. What's this? Go back. Don't disappear like that. Summer Smith and Stone. Nice. Is it just this thing? From a different angle? Yo! You don't have red eyes though, so you're okay. <laughs> Whoa, you're pecky. You're pecky. They bleed. We need some health back. Big chompers. I hate that move. Uh, up the butt. Got enough health. Gonna do the thing again. Take it out as, as legs. Oh, what's that? Four birds. It's almost dead. Shit, yeah. Still fucking creepy, right? The sounds are giving you goosebumps too. That means it's doing a good job. It's it's it tended. It's supposed to be scary and just unnerving. Just ugh. like what imagination to put something like that in this game? It's great. It's great. Well, I have a feeling that this is going to be like a shortcut to a different area or something. No, like, not like a, a just just a random cave. First off, I did it. I did it. We did it. Here. What's here? I'm so glad we can open this and not be told we need a key or to go around. Kalid Catacombs. Okay, so it is maybe just a cave, but it's never just a cave. Or catacombs. Uh, rune situation is okay. Great violet. <laughs> Hell, he had his Slurpees. Can't wait to get my first Slurpee this year. Scarlet Rot. What is that? Flowers, I knew it. I knew it. Now instead of inflicting... Poison, then you flick the Scarlet Rot. Probably. Let's take it like one step at a time. Oh, it's still going up! I thought it would go down since we're not directly stepping in it, but since it's going up anyway. Scarlet Rot. We have something to get rid of that, don't we? Yeah. Preserving ball uses. Okay. Still going up. Shit. How do we stop that? Can we make more? Preserving. The pink ones. Uh, No, we don't have the recipe yet. Shit. We need the recipe. You got your first milkshake of the year? Two weeks ago on your way home from, from COVID test. Nice, nice. Yeah, milkshakes are cool too. If they do it right, it's just like perfect creamy like chocolate or strawberry or whatever taste. That and like a 
A double cheeseburger would be awesome right now. And some chili fries. <laughs> oh. What flavor did you get, Alina? What's happening here? Kill the sore throat, I guess it did, yeah. <laughs> It's coming back. We need a different sword. We need a different uh, weapon. Let's go with our holy... Or this one. Golden Halberd. You still come back from the dead? I don't know what's up with that. Just gonna keep going. Chocolate! My favorite. I love it. Uh, we do have ho holy water pots, though, right? We should use that, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd he go? There we are. Be gone. Be wary of skeleton. It's chocolate always. Yeah, what a stupid question, I know. <laughs> what is that? Okay. Your back skeleton? Holy shit. Some China's ass flower. You can do bleed on the flower. Okay, just takes a long time. We can stagger the flower? Okay. <laughs> so that means the flower has poise? Whoa, 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 whoa. That's fucking bullshit. That's bullshit. Afterlife, death, like that. Okay, we'll try again. Okay, the catacombs. Okay, let's see how run we can fire. How far we could run, I mean. Did I say did I really say that? How how run we could fire? <laughs> how far we could run. <laughs> Uh, what killed me? I think it was the magic from this flower. That, it's like, it started casting it before it died. But I guess it just still remained active even though it died. What's this? Grave Glove Wart, alright. That's good. Scarlet Rot, that's bad. Oh, well, there's a lever somewhere. Behind. Health is low. Oh, there. Yeah, either we're fighting a giant flower or a giant skeleton. I'm gonna say a giant skeleton. Cemetery Shade. Why are you? Your reptile from combat. That noise. It's horrible. 
horrifying. Bleed and Scarlet Rot. We backstab. We should be able to backstab. Yeah, big backstab. Let's go. Holy fuck, we can do this. Oh, yeah, easily. Not this time, though. Next time. Three hits, it's dead. Ah, uh, there's a stake of Barrico close by? Yes. Yes. Ah, uh, what time is it? Almost 3 o'clock. I'll probably go for another hour or so. Maybe a bit more. Uh, yeah, there's still lots to do. Like, there's a castle that I feel like we're getting closer to, which is another who knows how long gameplay, which I'm, of course, looking forward to. Like, this game's incredible. It, it's so vast. And yeah, uh, it's not overwhelming at all. Like, it feels we could just explore it gradually and not be pressured into exploring everything. Because there's not like a ticker that tells you how many caves you've explored. Like, you've explored 10 out of 50 caves. There's nothing like that. Not roll into it. What am I doing? I didn't press that button. Roll into it. Why would I do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just hide behind a fucking corner or like one of those tombstones. Throw the occasional like arrow at it, or not? A, you don't throw arrows, but like the occasional knife or, or fire pots or whatever. <laughs> you could be the mage, and I'll be the the tank. Yeah, we could do this. It's got quite the range. That bullshit. Okay. Three tries, not bad. Kindred of Rot Ashes. Kindred of Rot. Uh, the spirit, this spirit takes the form of a crawling pest. Its chitinous body. That's right, they do kind of resemble a uh, chitin. Uh, its chitinous body making a dry, rustling sound. That's what it was. Attacks enemies by secreting sticky threads. The Kindred of Rot are the servants of the Goddess of Rot. Servants that have been forsaken. Cool. Oh yeah, no no boars in the cave, unfortunately. Ah, uh, let's run back. <laughs> Walk back in the Scarlet Rot Kit. It's a scenic route. Poison flower. Nope. I've had enough of you. Is there anything here? Have we been here? I don't think we've been here. Let's go here. Nope. Dead end. Or is it? Most likely. I've never seen a, a secret area with a torch on it. 
that likes me? Aw. <laughs> Let's get away. Let's get the safety of the fucking... I don't like the Scarlet Rock. Whoa! Skeleton! We're almost dead. <laughs> it's just like... It's like blowing kisses, but it's got like poison saliva. And it's like... Instead of proper like blowing kiss... Whoa! Skeleton! Rest? Oh, you come back alive, that's right. Ah, uh, shit. Wait, we got a holy pot, don't we? Uh, hang on. Almost dead. There it is. Okay, if we do this... Throw it! Our fucking health! No, no! Ah! We're gonna respawn at the set of grace, right? Exactly, that's all it knows how to do. All it knows is how to spit poison, and can we blame it? No. It's one purpose in life is to stay down there in that flooded poison catacomb and just guard it. Yeah. It's doing a pretty good job. I don't ever want to return. It's it's preventing me from returning. That's for sure. Yeah, because we got what we came for. Well, that's just a random cave in this game. There's many more. We beat you already. Was that the old one? Yeah, okay. So let's go this way. There's a horseman here. What is this? Hang on. Oh, that's nothing. Got a fire sword? I'm over here. <laughs> Aha! Outsmarted by fungus. <laughs> hey, 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 get out of here, you poser, you fancy shield, that was a lot easier than I was expecting. Goodbye, penguin. I thought they were dancing at first, but they're eating. They're feasting. Oh, there's two of them! They're eating each other. There's more! There's many more! Oh, they're all coming! They're all congregating! They are damaging each other! They're just wild! Holy crap! What if we involve these? Every... everyone here! Go at it! It's a brouhaha! These guys do. These guys too. Let's, let's go. Holy shit. Surround everything up. I'm gonna pick up the pieces. <laughs> no, it wasn't wise to disturb those hungry creatures. No, it wasn't. Absolutely not. <laughs>
They got a critical hit or a stagger on. <laughs> oh, no. Cut through the middle. Oh, bad idea. I think it'd be easier to take on, like, the stragglers of the, the humanoid enemies rather than the stragglers of the, the dinosaur enemies. Okay, there's like, what, three dinosaurs? Four dinosaurs? And... Ten humans or so? You're almost dead. Holy shit! This is awesome. Oh, now comes the trumpet. Who's got the trumpet? You. Oh. Smoldering butterfly. Jump! <laughs> Whoever created this would be uh, would have a disturbing soul. That would be Hidetaki Hidetaka Miyazaki. That's his name, Hidetaka Miyazaki. Yeah. Uh, Japanese. Uh, I don't know what his exact position at From Software is the developer. I think like creative director or director or something. It's his, it's his vision basically. He's amazing. He created Dark Souls, Bloodborne, all my favorite games. Sekiro, another good game. Bolt. Health. Be back. Where's that trumpet guy? Oh, shit. Get up, get up! Run away! Run, 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 run! <laughs> no, I don't think the holy water pot will work on these guys. Ha uh ha! -huh. Oh, we're almost dead! Shit, I did that too soon. Fuck. How many are left? Just one? One or two? Big box. Hell yeah, two for one. He was almost dead anyway. All right. Finally have some peace and quiet to explore this area. Oh, there's two more up there. Shoulder. The foot. <laughs> There's like <laughs> lobbing off him. Hey, set of grace. 
And a portal. Won't call Alina, Kate. Okay, no worries. They see that too. They're coming. They see me coming. What's my arrows? They got arrows too. But we do more damage now, and they do not. Is that a ladder? Yeah. Two ladders. Two enemies. One ladder per ladder. Per, per enemy. I'm over here. Hello? I want to make him fall just by blocking his attacks, if that's possible. Nope. Now he's falling. And good news is we could probably level up again soon, provided we don't die and lose our runes. Oh, hello. Who's this? Two of them? What are you guarding? Three of them. That would be a perfect time to have that rune that restores all the health, or some health. up here really nothing up there there's got to be something I'm missing A bunch of cool weapons. Maybe there's another way up. Be wary of up, dog. What's up, dog? <laughs> Behold, right. Which right? This way, right? Hey! Thought I saw loot here, too. Where'd we get it? I think we got it. Saw an area here with uh, a bunch of crosses on it. That's how. Oh, hello. Shit, shit, shit. Ash of War, Crag Blade. Uh, this Ash of War grants an armament the heavy affinity and the following skill: Crag Blade, skill that manipulates gravity. 
Bury the armament in the ground, pulling rocks from the earth to reinforce it. Increases attack power and makes it easier to break enemy stance. Okay. Usable on melee armaments. Whips accepted. Crack that whip. Those are like dinosaur heads. Wolf heads. Shit, where does that teleport us to? Ah, uh, we could probably level up too. Yeah, how many do we need? 22, 8, 1, 8, 1. This should be enough. Almost. Almost. Yeah. More endurance. Okay, let's see where this bridge takes us. Oh wait, before we do that, what was this checkpoint called? Impassable Great Bridge. We'll see about that. Is it going to collapse on us? Or a great dragon swoops down? I bet it will break at some point, and that's what this tress... Uh, what's it called? Tress... Trespasser? Trespassing thing? Teleporter, that's it. <laughs> that's a giant skull right there, isn't it? I'd be really surprised if this doesn't take us to the other one. Uh, yes. Do 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 do. Yeah, we're now five hours into the stream, so I want to thank everybody again for hanging out, watching, and uh, chatting, and just having a good time. Hope you like the video. Thank you. Red Main Castle. Yeah, that's the kind the, the name of the castle I was thinking of earlier that I couldn't think of the name. Red Main Castle. But it didn't put us where I thought it would, which is the other uh, teleporter. So where are we here? And I see... So we're inside the castle now. We should grab that, also. Amazing music in here, too. And I see Sight of Grace. Lots of things. Cool music. Chamber outside the plaza. Okay, let's fast travel back here. I bet uh, we won't be able to get into the castle by the means that I'm thinking of right now, which is like just <laughs> walking up the front gate. Yeah, I don't know many castles that, that just you walk in through the front gate with it being open. 
You never know, though. We'll check that out after. Because that's got to go somewhere else then, too. It's kind of weird that there's no enemies on the way. Hello? No, didn't think so. I did it! More dinosaurs. Yeah, let's check out that, uh, that tower. This one. There is loot on it. Smithic stone bag three. How do we get up there though? Do we have to jump with our horse? Probably. Probably. Yeah, from way up above there. Jumping would be nice. <laughs> Bear ravioli, hello. <laughs> Caleb Lando, hell exactly. Yeah, man, we just kind of did our first uh, round of explorations here tonight. Good to see you, Bear Ravioli. This game's awesome. Yeah, we could jump here from here. How's your night going, Bear Ravioli? Oh, I did discover and find patches in Leonia. I did. Yes. Yeah, those bird dog things, the dinosaur things, fucking brutal. So, so, just coolly designed though, but very, uh, <laughs> ugly. Hideous. So they still rank six. Nice. You're great. Nice. Level 83. You beat your next boss trying to access your next area. Nice. So you're level 83. So I take it you're pretty near the end of the game then. I'm level 62. Higher level than I thought. Like it's a st steady climb, but I'm, I'm digging it a lot. Survive? Yes. <laughs> Alright, uh, so we can't get into the castle the normal way. But we could use the teleporter. But I also want to see where that other one goes. This one. Yes. Yeah, it's hard to tell exactly how much of the game is left. Feels higher level than Dark Souls. Yeah, like the the meta level would be higher. As in they expect more levels. Exactly, yeah. I I was looking up on Reddit actually a few weeks ago uh, when the game first dropped. And people were saying like 150 or even 200. Uh, so yeah, we'll see. Red main castle. Okay, so somewhere else in the castle. Or no, we're in the same spot. Okay, so that pretty much proves that at some point that bridge will collapse and make it un impassable, which is why the checkpoint is called Impassable Great Bridge. So some transpirings in this castle perhaps will cause the bridge to collapse. Am I deaded? No, uh, I, I deaded a few times, but I, I alived 
also. <laughs> You keep hearing triple digits for endgame is totally reasonable. Yeah. Yeah, where's the map? I was actually looking for the map in uh, Liurnia. If you could, like, point me uh, in the right direction for that map. Because I want to come back here at some other point. Uh, let's put a thing here. Oh, yeah, this thing, too. Let's grab this thing before we head back to Liurnia. And yeah, we found an NPC that was looking for a necklace. She said it was in an abandoned house. Along the way. And I, I couldn't find it. I just got distracted. So I want to pursue that. Did you miss spider creeps? Uh, I haven't really seen any spider creeps yet. Not like in the traditional sense. But other like... Grasshoppery type things? Just horribleness. I want to av avoid them. Avoid combat. Okay, so we're going north. What's behind us? Eep. Yeah, these things suck. I wish we could look at the map while in combat. They're like stationed everywhere. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe it's down here. There is treasure down here. Windy Crystal Tear. <laughs> Whoa, that was close. Uh, the obelisk icon tells you where it is, but you have to be somewhat close, it seems. Oh, shit. Took a while to figure that one out. Okay. Uh, I just want to, like, lose these fucking... Birds. Shit. Merchant? Just a random merchant just sitting there. Wait, here's a tower. Tower. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Map. Caleb. Nice. Nice. Finally. Oh, man. Oh, what? They stopped on with me with their teeth. Horse is dead. <clears throat> Let's run to the merchant. <laughs> I'm going to do something that I don't like doing. But we got to do it if we want to talk to the merchant. How many dinosaurs we got? Three dinosaurs? Oh, fuck. Oh, man. <laughs> no. Force will come back. So where's this obelisk? Is it, like, unique to Liurnia? Yeah, yeah. I just can't seem to find one in, in like, the map area where it would be. Because, yeah, we could kind of mark it out earlier. Yeah, new map has been found. Kaelid. Sweet. So that's all of Kaelid. And there's still a map here. Who's this? Beastal Sanctum. That's way up there, right? Yeah, yeah. So I guess we just haven't been close enough down here to see it pop up. Where is it? Here. Yeah, because Patches was here. Scenic Isle, Patches, it says right there. Via the new update. 
Uh... Yeah, maybe we just haven't been down here, but... Test two's rise. I forget where that takes us. Uh, yes, I want to know. Yeah, please tell me. Where is it? That'd help a lot. Oh, we also came across another, uh... A really cool area, actually, where it led us to on top of some rafters, and there was like a spiral staircase hanging with what seemed like a latch at the bottom or like a, a hidden doorway. And I tried shooting arrows and magic at it, but it wouldn't budge. And I think I marked it somewhere. <laughs> the ruins in the middle right near there along the main road coming from the east. Okay. So like coming from here? Yeah, they are typically all along main roads. True, true. The ruins are in the middle, right? So, like, here. Near there. Okay. Wait, is that it? Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. It's right there. <laughs> it's just so close to the, the checkpoint, I didn't see it. Okay, fair. Uh, yeah. I want to go... Wait, what is that? What is that? Is that the... The ghost thing that leads us to a cave? I think it might be. <laughs> That's crazy. I just didn't see it. Damn it, Miyazaki! Yeah, <laughs> let's go here. Academy Gate Town. Yeah, I must have just missed it. And maybe now that'll help us get to that uh, objective for that woman who's missing her necklace, too. Well, that's our... That's right. Yes, you're right. My runes. I forgot about that. Because what I was going to do is quit out. And that would despawn the dinosaurs so I could talk to the merchant. Um, tower. Should be right here. Look at that. Map, Lyrnia. North. Wow, there it is. So this must be Rhea, uh, yeah, Rhea Lucaria. Cool. Finger Reader Crow, that's right. Yeah, you could say, I would say you're getting pro at Elden Ring. Hell yeah, man. Thank you for your help. I appreciate it. Uh, and you said you're, like, one major boss away? That's a good feeling, man. Oh, yeah, where we stopped, where it was, like, a dead end, it was here. Yeah. Would you happen to know how we get past here? Because, yeah, like I said, we came across, uh, we stopped at some rafters... And some rats on the rafters. And there's a spiral staircase hanging down. But we couldn't jump to it. We couldn't get to it. There were chandeliers. And, uh... Tried some stuff. Haven't done that yet. Okay. I'll leave that then. Um... Where was Patches? Here? There's Raya. So, yeah, she said... Along the way. An abandoned house. Along the way. Ah. Uh, let's go back. Let's get those souls. Yeah. Like I don't. Like I said earlier. I don't want to take on too much. Because that's just too overwhelming. Okay. That's my ruins. Let's go from here. Why did I put that thing there? Maybe let's explore some more, uh, Kaled. Yeah, we could always come back to the castle later. I heard one of the best farming spots is in this area. So maybe I'll try to find that. And do some farming off-camera, maybe. But I, I don't feel like we're 
dying unnecessarily too much, so we might be at a good level. But the option is always good to have there. And there's a new merchant up there. That's the thing that we gotta go back. <laughs> Decaying exites all the way back here. Shit! And the thing disappears. Decaying exites. Okay, that's where that map, uh, map fragment was. Oh, there's my runes. Perfect. And then it's merchant is right there. 300 runes? I thought we had a few thousand. Buying or selling? Uh, buying. That's 4,000. Crack pot we should buy. Stone sort key. We don't really need one, I think. Great helm. Is that like a Solaire's helm? He's the main one. Mr. Grinch. Note, gravity's advantage. Uh, further in details are available only to paying customers. Okay, so we're going to buy it to know it. We should be able to use some runes and buy a whole lot. And I'm, I'm glad we found that uh, map. <laughs> you got a straight up Bloodborne weapon? Really? Tell me about it. Is it like a trick weapon? It's the sock lever. <laughs> or like mood, uh, the holy blade. Not finished yet. Not finished yet. Let's buy this. Number 15. Um, what area is it in? Champion headband, champion pauldron, champion bracers, and champion gaiters. Okay, so we bought a uh, cookbook number 15. So this one? Rotbone arrow, rotbone arrow flesh, rotbone bolt. Or was it? Missionary's cookbook. 15? No, we don't have that. Yeah, it must have been number 15. Northwest. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we've been there yet. Sort of out of the way. Okay. I'll probably find it because um, I tend to be quite thorough. Or at least try to be when it comes to exploring new areas. So like, after that magma worm that we killed a few episodes ago. So like up here-ish. And past here. What is that? Divine Bridge. I don't even remember that. So this must be where the Erd Tree is. So it's like northwest from us. Uh, where is it? There it is. North, west. Yes. Cool. Cool. There's another thing. Let's grab that. Up yonder. Okay, good, good. Yeah, we'll get to it. Uh, maybe even today. Okay, so we're heading... Let's head up further this way, though. Let's head back there. So, like, north. Around this thing. Yeah, we have to circle around. we go through that gate? Holy shit. 
Golden rune. Golden rune. Glass shard. We got many of those already. Celia Gateway. That's a skull, isn't it? What is that? What is that? Oh, it's a message? Developer message. Stop by the shack. For a big Mac attack. Is that the same shack where the NPC was looking for her necklace? This shack. Okay, I'll stop by the shack. Sure, I'll tell I'll I'll do what you tell me to do. Oh, hello? You okay? Gallery's shack? What happens if the dog tries to poison the NPC? Gowry. Hello? Oh shit, wrong button. <laughs> oh, a pleasure to see you. Likewise. A pleasure indeed. I am Gary, a great Gary, sage. it's Gary. In my day, anyway. Gary the mage. I hoped to ask a favor when one of your ilk came along. A strapping young tarnished able to cross the scarlet swamp of Aeonia. I did it. Don't fret. I'll provide fine recompense. I wasn't looking for recompense. Should you accept? I will teach you the secret of Celia, the town you see there. Okay. Sure. Ah, then you are willing to lend a hand, are you? I didn't say that. <laughs> I need your help to heal a certain young girl. I don't have healing hands yet, but I, I could do it. Is Millicent. Millicent. You will find her beyond Celia, resting at the church atop the cliff. The safest place. Stricken by the rotting sickness. Yeah, I was going to say she has the, the scarlet rot. And she's the key to all this? Like, if, if we cure her, the Scarlet Rock goes away? It's getting, uh, mistier. Smokier. Celia, town sorcery. You saw that message but missed the shack? Oh shit. <laughs> that explains some things. That explains some things. And you explored Celia? You couldn't find it. Oh, hello. Shit. They just pop it up everywhere. My horse is dead. Oh, that's cool. They're like drawing power from their books. What was that poison grease? These uh, are surprisingly. Easy enemies. What is this? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, yeah, almost guiding each other through or, like, helping. Definitely helping. What is that? Is that a vending machine? It looks like a vending machine. <laughs> or a painting. <laughs> like, what's a Coca-Cola vending machine doing here? Red main painting. Is that the castle? It's probably the castle, isn't it? Haha. -ha. Tricked you. <laughs> I think this is the first one we encountered in, in the town here. He's got the magic crown. Yeah, he's a bit tougher. Ah, uh, no, it's my third painting. 
Uh, I found one in uh, the artist's shack, I think. And then one more in Thornvale. And then this one here. I've only, I think, followed through on one, though. The first one. I found some places, or I've seen some places that kind of resemble them, but uh, I haven't been close yet. This will be here. Yeah, we found this one. In the artist shack, and then this one was in Stormvale. And this one just now. A uh, work of a wandering artist. Reminiscence, reminiscence of a painting titled Red Mane. This painter is said have captured... The landscapes seen during the last moments of those welcomed into death's embrace. The soul of the painter and vestiges of the dead's last moments can be discovered by visiting the location depicted even now. Wait, we came across an area, excuse me, with uh, swords buried in the ground like that. And I think it was kind of overlooking Castle Redmain. We might have gotten this already, but I don't see why they would put the reward before the the clue to get it. That's not a thing they would do. So I think that painting still, or the reward for that painting still exists. The treasure. Can I swing my sword? <laughs> A little gimp? One day I'll fly, Papa! <laughs> Not this day. Wait. Didn't I see a door with like a... A block on it. Like a cipher or something? Over here. Yeah, yeah, this thing. What is this thing? Stone Cold's fucking glass shattering. No. Some magic? Maybe, uh, crystal sword. <laughs> hmm. Was it just like an advertisement for Rhea Lucaria? I think it's, I think it's that. Maybe we kill him, kill one of these in front of this thing, and it opens up magically. Might be another location that we come back to later. He's literally like whacking me with his book. Oh, yeah, the sound design in general is just amazing. Hey, it's so just detailed and diverse. Another poison swamp. This time, this time, a scarlet rot swamp. Celia under stair. That is absolutely climbable, isn't it? Swamp 
of Aeonia. That's a new area. Swamp of Aeonia. Rotten stray ashes. Dogs. I hear more. A uh, spirit of a dog, stray dog, corrupted by the scarlet rot. Though it is only though it is only a small creature, it is as violent as it is nimble, and its fangs fester with poisonous rot. Awesome. Ah, uh, yes, I do have something that helps with scarlet rot. Yes, I have uh, these preserving bolluses. I can't remember where I found them, and I don't have the recipe to make them yet. And I've used two, so we got five somewhere. Yeah. And that was a while ago. So, I, yeah, I, I have no idea where we got them. Okay, that's close. That marker. Yeah. I just wish we could make them. Something over here, too, obviously. Okay, let's keep heading so uh, north. We rested here, right? Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> Almost seemed like this player here jumped on them just as I killed them too, and it was a co-op kill. Horse? Oh, that should have been something. That should have been a thing. Unless. I feel like I'm playing Assassin's Creed now. Golden seed. Something's up with that. So we can't pass. Oh, wait. We got a sacred tier a while ago. I didn't use that yet. That might have helped keep us alive longer, now that I think about it. Maybe this offers a clue. Strong foe ahead. Yeah, this <laughs> inscrutable wall. Is it weak to bleed? No. Hmm. Yeah, the guy, he said some girl on a cliff was infected by Scarlet Rot. Thought I saw something there. You haven't done this. Okay. Some loots. We can climb up there. Sneaky, that's a sneaky king. Big sword king. I'm still using, like, an early game sword. I'm using the uh, Lord Sworn's Greatsword. Lord, yeah, Lord Sworn's Greatsword, which I think you can get in, like, the, the where you get fucking your horse and uh, the, the maiden first thing. but quite reliable. You need sleep very heavily? No worries, man. <laughs> Will do. Thank you for your help. Appreciate it. You have a good night.
Get some good sleep, man. Hell yeah. Yeah, this totally feels like Assassin's Creed right now. Rooftop to rooftop. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'll probably call it a stream soon, too. I said I'd play for an hour more, like 50 minutes ago. That's felt like 15 minutes. Uh, let's see what the swamp's about. Swamp of Aeonia. Look quickly, though. Yeah, it's got Scarlet Rat. I thought so. Those things are getting bigger and bigger every day, too. It's pustules. Whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe we can get around that building blocking the way. That is a giant skull. Holy shit. Snake of America and another. Oh, I thought that was a site of grace. This is pretty freaky. Feels like Journey or something. Frames. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the bone wheel skeletons, but worse. Must be in, 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 invisible. Invisible. There's a big one. <laughs> Just watch this one be an NPC. No, I don't think it's an NPC. I think it's a foe to begin with. Oh, it's got a face on it? Horrifying. Summer Smith is still rank five.
Okay, where was that gate? That was like here, right? So now I'm on the, the west side of that. I bet we can get there by this road. As well. Yeah, because I tried that road, but uh, we stopped because enemies. But yeah, we could do that. Let's do that. And then once I find that map fragment, I'll probably wrap up the stream. Maybe? We'll see what happens, though. So that was, like, west from here, right? Uh, yeah. No, east, east. Right, through these ruins. Yeah, 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 I remember these. Caitlin ruins. Wrong turn somewhere. Maybe we should like go around here. So we're heading northeast though. Number It's a wide ass crevasse. What is that? UFO? They probably keep coming out of the ground too because they're zombies. Is that all of them? All the runes? Whoa, 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 whoa. Here, we can cross here. Nice. Gray Old's Dragon Barrel. Yeah, we've been here before. Haven't been here before, though. No. Wait, that name, it sounds familiar. It's like, um, I think we read it on that half crescent thing. This one. Yeah, the right half is said to reside in Fort Faroth of the Dragon Burial. Far to the east. Okay, so Fort, Fort Faroth. Where's that? Here somewhere. And then... What's this called? Dragon Barrel West. Okay. Another dragon. Map dragon barrel, nice. Holy shit. This map is massive. There's still stuff here we're gonna uncover. It's probably like circles back around here. I bet 
Fort Faroth is probably over here somewhere. What's this, though? Is that the, the thing we saw in the, uh... In the water there? Let's keep going east to this tree. Conveniently blocking the way, too. Your boss or just the... Uh, just the dragon, just the rancor. Gravel stone. There's two of them. Gravel stone. What is that? A uh, small clump of sharp pointed stones, such compound stones found in lands once beset by ancient dragons are said to be in uh, the scales of those very beasts. Cool, so we could, yeah, use for crafting, so we can make stuff out of those. Sweet. What is that? Giant dragon? Holy shit, it moves. What a deep slumbering. Holy fuck. I bet we can farm those dragons. Hey, look at that. What's this place called? Fort Faroth! No shit. Uh, yeah, I really should wrap up the stream, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up. We're, we're gonna continue next time. Probably tomorrow. That's Friday. Most likely in the evening. Again, same time I started at tonight. Around 10 o'clock. Central Standard Time. Technically today. Friday. March 18th, 2022. Yeah, this should be up on YouTube. Uh, probably early Saturday. Yeah. Made some good progress. Leveled up a bit more. Uh, didn't fight any any mandatory bosses not that I think of or know of. But yeah, thank you everybody for hanging out tonight. It was a really fun, good stream. Thank you to Grim Sage and Mike Menza for the awesome raids. Very much appreciated. And thank you to Mike Menza for the bits. Very much appreciated as well. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching as well. Thank you for subscribing.